guys, it's Zach. Uh, you may know me from Amy Foresight on YouTube or Otaku and Teach on Instagram. I am here with some friends of mine, and uh, we are here to do a transformer stream. So I'm going to let my friends introduce themselves. I'm Adrian, also known as Gothsaurus on the boards. I'm Jordan. I'm Prime135 on the boards and on some other online stuff. So today, what we're doing is, if you don't know us or you haven't seen us, uh, if you probably see me, you know I'm a big Transformer fan. Uh, these two wonderful people are also big Transformer fans. I've been friends with them for years, and we love this brand so much. Uh, we constantly talk about it and what's going to be happening you know, throughout the year. But we want to go a step further and kind of talk about what's going to be happening in 2026. Um, and this is an idea I've been wanting to do for a while, but every time I decided to do it, leaks happen. So I wanted to jump the gun and go a year above a year. So we're going to be talking about what we think is going to be happening in 2026. Uh, last week, we found out the line, officially, is going to be called Age of the Primes. So the sequel, uh, I've decided to label Lineage of the Prime, which will be year two in 2026. And That's speculative, right? Yes, it okay. is speculative. It's, it's just uh, a uh, kind of a fun title I came up with. I did come up with a fun little logo. I thought Hasbro's logo was kind of bland. This one's just kind of a fun one that I made. Um, so this kind of came up um, and was inspired just because uh, with how much I love and my friends love this this brand. And what I did when I made my list, because we've created a list of what we think are going to be deluxes, voyagers, leaders, commanders, and, and the Titan for 2026 as in the HasLab. Um, what I do is I follow Evan, Mark, and BMAC on social media. I watch their interviews, I watch the streams. You have to say who they are. Oh, they're the brand people of Hasbro. Um, they're the ones that work on the figures, uh, BMAC, Evan, and Mark. And... I watch them and I like to get inside their head. And so uh, I know with my list, I try to really get into their minds and what I think they're going to make based on what they've said, what they enjoy and what we're kind of missing. Um, what do you guys, how did y'all kind of approach y'all's list? So um, Adrian, do you want to go first? You want me to? Oh, go ahead. So I kind of, um, I looked at the leaked list we have for 2025, and I looked at that um, and kind of tried to fill in gaps in important characters that we know are coming. So let's, so like I'm thinking, you know, such, <laughs> sorry, I'm thinking um, like missing characters from small teams or things I might think might tie into the recent Transformers 1 movie, stuff like that. It is. I did the absolute least planning and thought on mine. I took some stabs in the dark. Some of mine, looking at the past lines, they might give a little hint of something that's coming in a mold, something that might be retooled. You might see some hints of something, so I ran with some of those ideas but mine will be the shots in the dark for sure. Uh, I think when you see my slide, I went very much extra and you'll see what I'm talking about when we go over the slides. Um, but you guys just ready to jump in to this? Let's do it. Yeah, I did want to say before we get started, there is a minor spoiler on uh, one of my slides for Transformers 1. Uh, we'll... I'll say beforehand so anybody watching can skip ahead if they want to go in the movie like 100% blind. That's very considerate. All right. So if you see this on the screen, this is the logo for what I have created for it, Lineage of the Primes. I have another screen up above me. So that's where I'm looking if I'm not looking at you guys. Uh, so this is the logo. I thought it was very cool, very spacey, very futuristic. Um, and we're going to go, we're going to start with my first deluxe right here so deluxe class number one my first choice was sea spray um i know the guys at hasbro brand especially me mac has really said that he has wanted to see spray, sea spray for a while it's his favorite transformer i think wow. it's the perfect time to introduce him 
uh, in this line to fill out the mini bots uh, and to uh, just bring one of BMAC's favorite transformers uh, into light. Yeah, I could definitely right. see it happening. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. they need to finish finish the mini bots. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, let's see. So, so I think my first one might actually be a mistake. No, it's not. So, uh, so my first one, I been following the leaks. I know we're getting Vortex and Swindle next year. So I said, okay, well, we're obviously going to be getting the rest of the Combaticons. So I started off with Blast Off. Very cool, very cool. I love Blast Off. I think he's cool. Uh, I definitely like, like oh, uh, in the cartoon, he's like, I hope no one recognizes me in this getup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I was watching Star Streams Brigade the other day. That's like my favorite episode of G1. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. All right. Adrian, your first is Power Glide. Hey. All right. So, Power Glide, uh, do you, is there any like features you want him to come like his little heart inside? Yeah, I yeah. love the heart. Um, minifigure would be great, but I'm, I wouldn't be expecting that at this point. I think he may be a, either a big, big deluxe or maybe even get. Uh, bumped up into the next slot size class, but this we'll go with this for now. Uh, I yeah. really do like the idea. If you remember, if we had, when we had gears, he had to open up chests and he had all yeah. the detail. I think it'd be cool uh, for him and C Spray to have those little nods, you know, him mm -hmm. to have the heart and then C Spray to have um, girlfriend's name on him. Ariel. Just how, how, they, how they did the deluxe way back when for um, how the primes. I also think that. Having seen what we have in the past, I think there's a lot of repaint potential into either G.I. Joe vehicles um, with a, a Cobra version or yeah. also Sea Spray as um, Octopunch or a Joe vehicle. So we've yeah. got options now. Yeah, especially um, they're hyping up their big G.I. Joe crossover movie. So I think that's going to be coming into play a lot. <laughs> And let's have a discussion about that after we finish our, our slides, because I have <laughs> yeah, some, we'll I have some thoughts. Let's keep up the pace. All right. Yeah. So my number two is Quick Strike. <laughs> I love Quick Strike. I know that they wanted to do him as a core class, but I just for him to go up, you know, against uh, you know the maximums that we have already, I think a deluxe would be perfect uh, for a Quick Strike. Um, I think you and I are going to have some overlap on our lists. And that's good. That's good. You know, that, that I think shows what we all think alike. Mine's probably going to be the outlier list because I definitely went with some more modern characters. Cool, cool, cool. But, well, let's see what your number two is. So, is. I will say my number two is a mistake. I put the wrong guy on there. I know Vortex has been leaked for our coming up 2025 year. This is supposed to be Brawl. Okay, uh, we'll take it. Well, hey, yeah. we don't know. We were, supposed to, we were supposed to get the third Autobot Target Master, and he's nowhere to be seen. So mm -hmm. we can still count this. I think um, if we if we start the Combaticons this year, I think we're definitely going to get two of them. Um, especially, it looks like I think we're getting all four aerial bot limbs next year. Mm -hmm. So I could definitely yeah. see getting the first two Combaticon limbs in 2025 and then finishing the set in 2026. You're mentioning... Aerial bots and Combaticons, those were the body molds that got used for Nexus Maximus. And yeah. This being called a line of primes um, or Nexus Prime. That's one of the reasons I think those may wind up being the, the co tools of mm -hmm. these characters and that we may get those worked in. You know, I uh, I didn't put him on this list, but I was thinking 2027 we might see a Nexus Maximum or Nexus Prime. See, you you are you know, jumping ahead a little bit. Might, not, in, might, be in, uh, might be in my list coming up. Let's see. What was your number two? Your number two was Octo Punch. I love that picture. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, after him being repainted after Sea Spray, that's I think those two will come out in quick succession. Uh, and he is he is like the mascot of uh, what's that group that we've been getting this right. for? Right, that's the other what? reason I think he's going to come. They call oh, the Mayhem uh, Tax Squad. Uh, Mayhem Tax Squad. Yeah. Yes, yes. So he's yeah. been all over the box, and he's like their their emblem. So that, yeah, that'd be cool. 
Okay, I'm I'm sorry, y'all mentioned Seaspray's girlfriend, and I have been racking my brain trying to come up with her name. It's not Astaria, that's Power Glides, and it's not Ariel, that's Alita One, before she's Alita One. Mm. <laughs> what was Seaspray's girlfriend's name? Mermaid Chick. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I call her. <laughs> oh my god. I hadn't realized that, but it's like season two rolls around, they're like, let's give everyone girlfriends. Pretty much. I don't care, even if they're robots. Right. Well, I mean, a lot of them had robot girlfriends, so. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's dive into my third choice. Um, as you see, I'm an extra. So I did say Brawl. And I said mm -hmm. Brawl because he could be repainted both into his G2 and RD counterpart. So there is some uh, repaint potential. And if you can get three repaints, as Proto Man says, you've made your money there. And I think I've represented that pretty mm -hmm. well. That's a good point. The G2 is really, really good. And uh, Ru Ruination, especially because we're getting the, uh, the HasLab this year and all the other uh, RID stuff that's been out lately. Now, I am wondering... Um, if they when they do to the Combaticons, are we going to get super cartoon accurate or super toy accurate? Because like, if we look at the releases recently, they've been super cartoon accurate. But yeah. the G two yeah. was toy accurate though, so I think yeah. if they do the G two would be more toy accurate. Yeah, that's because what I'm thinking. Like, um, they might even have to do a little bit of remolding to turn the uh, Combaticons into the G two Combaticons or Ruination because they're well, just so we, different. Yes, with what they've yeah. done with um. Uh, the Dinobot combiners and that amount of retooling, I could see them doing that amount for yeah. Baldigus. Well, Not enough retooling, in I my agree. opinion. But I, I think we may see a shape. deluxe version with some little head head cowls. Yeah. All right. All right. So, or at least third party head all right. Jordan. Nah, All right. Not you surprised. you actually oh. mentioned this guy earlier. Yeah. Sure shot. I think this is going to show up on all of them. So, so you think that he cuz he was on the list for this year. He's supposed to come out in wave 5 yep. of of this of our current line Legacy, yep. but he was I I moved, think he's gonna, and he's disappeared. I think he's going to get pushed to 2026. We're seeing that a lot lately, uh, especially with the studio series stuff, where stuff is getting pushed to even to two, even three years out when they don't release it as scheduled. Um, we're seeing that with Hatchet. I think he was on the upcoming list for studio series next year, and yeah, he was he originally was leaked like moved, three yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, um, and he uh, Hatchet is on the list for. Uh, this this coming up year in, in tw yeah. uh, 2025. So, um, I mean, I hope he doesn't take that long to, to get out. Um, I didn't put him on my list just because I'm hoping they put him out somewhere. I hope he's not like a store exclusive. Yeah. I think that'd be a waste. Um, I could see so, them maybe uh, like sticking him in an Amazon exclusive or something. Well, um, they haven't, we don't have wave four of Age of the Primes yet. So, I'm hoping okay. he can pop up there. Maybe, maybe. All right. All right, we lost see. Adrian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Adrian went to go get more coffee. Um, yeah, you guys are talking about movie boxes. Yeah. Coffee for all. I got my, uh, got my critical uh, roles and my gender roles mug. Uh, so, Adrian, your number three was Ricochet, I'm assuming, from the studio series Jasmine. Exactly. This would be well, awesome. Um, well, it's an awesome Porsche vehicle that we're character that we're missing, mm -hmm. and I think it's right about time for another jazz repaint. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we got I, weird orange colors and knockout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like the Power of the Prime one. I think it's it's really cool. Um, he's in my collection. Um, I forgot you know, we got that. I forgot we got him. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I like him. He's with um, his little buddy, whoever, who was the, the target match of the white version of... Um, uh, I think Nightstick is his, or is Nightstick? Um, Nightstick's a gun. It's uh, the white version of um, the fire truck. Uh, Hardfire. Yeah, yeah. Hardfire. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, they're next to each other. They look good. Um, but I'm always up for, for repaints. Of, of guys, so like if it's a good figure, I'll take a repaint of it in a yeah. 
Agreed. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have any interaction with Adrian, you know that anything that has transforms on it, he will buy from from band aids <laughs> to nail polish. <laughs> if it has the logo, he's buying it. I think he's the most obsessed with, I guess, the merchandise out of all of us. Um, but I have yeah. to say, and one of the things that makes it really great for us all hanging out together is that we all have our own niches that we like. Like these guys enjoy movie, um, like the Bay movies more than I did. Well, wow. so I come over, I get to see toys that I don't have and seldom get to I see. Think, I think I'm the masterpiece collector of the group. But I mean, Adrian's not out of the ordinary. You know, I follow yeah. a couple of Sailor Moon people online. There was a, uh, there's some people that like imported like the Sailor Moon uh, maxi pads just because Sailor Moon's on them. They're not going to use them. But okay, that's like, oh, the it's, thing. It's just the maxi pads of Sailor Moon. It's going in my collection. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. You know, you do you. Yeah, I have some uh, ephemera kind of stuff too. So, mm. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I, I have Transformer duct tape. I can't, I can't really You've got a Transformer hat <laughs> in the mail too. You can't say anything. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, let's we've got go a Star Trek to... pizza cutter. <laughs> Height number four, which is Glow Strike. Oh, oh. ID twenty fifteen. I, I love like her. that. Yes, yeah, so I picked her um, just because we need some fem box in the line, and I think that she Agreed. can be pulled into the missing insectica, the deluxe insectica, the ladybug. Um, I think we can kill two birds with one stone with this. That um, is the best thing on the list. <laughs> that is a great idea. Up. And I you know what? I can out everything else on the list. And just to take this one thing and be happy. I could, good idea. I could see them even releasing, like turning that missing Insecticon into a G1 style glow strike. Yeah, that would be amazing. I don't know a lot about glow strike. I haven't watched all of RID 2015, but I think that her artwork is really pretty. Um, I like her character design. I think it's really cool. I know that, that you know their insects are totally different, but you take a bit of retooling on the outer shell and the head. And I think you you can make both of these work. Yeah. She was um she was a commander of a little team of um Decepticons in RID two thousand fifteen. I think in one of the later seasons. So like after they had caught a bunch of them, she showed up. Yeah, this unproduced toy is like a holy grail. Like so many yeah. people would really love to see this come to fruition. And I think Hasbro like, stuff, they'd make the ladybug like some kind of exclusive, like for Target or Amazon. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be mainline. Yeah. But, um, I Thank definitely you. thought that taking her and then retooling her was just something I could see um, Mark, Evan, and B-Mac definitely bring in, it to life. And these heads yeah. are different enough. I would love it if they could give us both heads, but that's yeah, for sure. They, high in the sky. Yeah, I'd love it. All right. right. I forgot who my fourth pick is, so this should be fun. Right. <laughs> that's a surprise. Yeah. Ah! Hey, all right. So a little more animated love. I know we're getting lost uh, next year. I think we're going to get Cliff Jumper because he never got released in the original line. Love to see him. Not in Japan? Japan didn't release him? Uh, I think it was released. It he was released in was Japan, Japan and America as an activator, but he wasn't released at Deluxe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, now, well, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's he's, Cliff Jumper. He's not on my list, but I've done research. There's probably in there like 15 or 16 Transformers that you, that uh, is that body that type. Eric Wyatt used for this mm -hmm. body type. There's a, there are so many. Because Derek Wyatt had like a like a, a chart. Yeah. Had like well, Colby, Glyph, tap out Cliff Jumper. Mm -hmm. um, we still need to tap Glyph. Um, tap out Glyph, Glyph box set. Yeah, that, that would be nice. The comic that came out. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like the um the so, like we need those so the uh, Valentine's Day comic. Yeah, yeah, I have that. As soon as that happened, I was like, I was waiting with my heart beating for that to come out as a set, and never did. Give us one of these, but with that cover and glisten and tap out, please, have it, bro. Thanks. <laughs> All right, and All Rook, right. put Rook in there too. <laughs> All right, Adrian, your number four pick. Was oh, okay. Okay. Um, so explain. There was a toy recently um, for Transformers One that had a similar body style to this. Oh, the that, uh, that, that um, 
research uh, and development could be going into a re repaint retool into Botanica. The Quintesson mold for the shot, uh, but something for I really the, like, see. the Prime Changers Quintesson mold, the little like deluxe class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I like that. So you used her first form. Is that kind of where you're going with? What that one? I didn't provide this picture. I know I did. I was. <laughs> I just. Yeah. Well, this is a this is her robot mode, quote unquote. Oh yeah, it's, show. It's, it's, her Roomba mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, very cool. Um, we'll, we'll we'll see her again. I feel like. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Spoilers. So number five for me is Power hey. Glide. <laughs> I said Power Glide because we still need Bad Boy. Um, yep. Oh, we still do. Wow. Yes. And so. Um, I chose Power Glide because I feel like you can complete the mini bots, and also I wanted to complete my uh, Go Bots. I mm -hmm. have been collecting the Go Bots. I want that little set that they released in Japan uh, with the updated, you know, figures, and mm -hmm. we're missing Bad Boy. And You're talking about the e hobby. Yeah, the e hobby Go Bots, Go -Bots not the franchise Go Bots. Well, the technically, they are the same. <laughs> They may be like canonically, kind of those are the same and, guys, yeah. You, but they don't look like the same guys. And I think <laughs> if you were a toy collector of the GoBots, you wouldn't be satisfied with well, probably them. not They're their no. own, own thing. I, I think Bad Boy would be some kind of exclusive in some way. I don't think it'll be mainline, probably um, not. But yeah, Power Glide to complete the main bots kind of basic, but that's kind of why yeah. I chose them for those two reasons, you know. I I'm missing core class as we're talking a lot. Well, they, they got rid of core class, and I know, and I, I hate hope they it. Can pack them together, or do a double, yeah. or something like a something two pack Voyager or something. Yeah, three and packs. Nice. All right, number five. Like, yes, Quintus Prime. Now, as a uh, deluxe, as a deluxe because why, why deluxe? Well, if you look at this year's list, we do, we do have, or this coming up year's list, we do have a couple of primes in the deluxe class. I think I, I did go ahead and I will spoil another one on my list. I did go ahead and stick a couple of primes in the deluxe class as well. Just the smaller ones, the ones I don't think um, really need the added bulk from a Voyager or leader class. Um, Quintus is one of those. I think he's getting a big push with Earth Spark right now. Um, mm -hmm. Because he's kind of the, like the main guy from that show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said, he's not a big dude. He's Quintus Prime. He's he's kind of tentacly and slender. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's cool. What, however we get him. I. What was his weapon? What was his prime weapon? Do you know? The um, Ember Stone. So it was oh, used... Is that the thing that's on his head? Um, I'm not sure where it is in the artwork. This is just from the um, the uh, Covenant oh, of Primates book. Yeah. Um, the Emberstone, it wasn't really a weapon. It was a life-giving artifact that was wow. used to seed life on other worlds. And he's the one that created the Quintessons, right? Mm-hmm. He was the creator of the Quintessons, of the Sharkticons. Great job. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Um, I think they retconned... They're retconning a few things in modern continuity to be like created by Quintus Prime, like the Battle Beasts and stuff like that. Oh, very cool! Very cool. I saw the Battle Beasts in that recent um, trigger. Oh, the trigger video. thing that was so good. Oh, we need we need to do we need to do we need to do a breakdown of that. Talk about that as a separate video. Yeah, we need yeah. to do a breakdown like a shot by shot. But wow, uh, that was the best. That'll be our yeah, let's look fun as our next video. Oh, let's All do right, it. Hey, Dan, your number five was. Ratchet from yeah, we're Prime. still missing. The, hey, that, that completes the lineup of, of Autobots. So that's a glaring omission so far to me. Hmm. Um, any reason why you chose the Lux class? I think that's just what size he is. Um, we've got so many of the other. Looking at the lineup, I've got them all on a shelf, and I think that's what's going to stack up. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, tall deluxe kind of along the lines of yeah. Cybertron. Hot shot would probably work for him. Mm. All right. Let's see. So we're going to go to number six. And my number six is Blast Off. Hey. Of course, GT <laughs> uh, repaint and RID repaint, I think, just makes sense. Yep. Um, 
And you know, even with the G2, all you had to do is remove the, the camo and change the eye color and the chest, and you got this pretty simple like yeah. repaint of a repaint. Well, how many uh of the G1 mold? This was oh, like God. the most repainted. Yeah, there was a Baldegeist, there was the there's Ruination Baldegeist G2. There were the alternate colors for Ruination. There were two different ones. Yeah, there, was, um, there were two other camo colors, like white yeah. camo and and gold camo. Yeah, and then the, the Japan exclusive, Bald um, Guys. No, no, no. Uh, G one. No. Oh yeah, not is it the name not Bald not Guys? Dark City, but uh, yeah, Battle Gaia. Battle Gaia. Oh yeah, Ooh, Battle Gaia. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So there's lots and lots of variations. Of that. I didn't think about that one. Yeah, Battle Gaia. I know that when. I saw Night Warriors blast off. Um, I was extremely happy just because I wasn't okay with his little, you know, repaint of an aerial bot. And I love spaceships and shuttles and mm -hmm. space in general. And so he's my probably one of my favorite other Combaticons. So I'm, I'm All right. really wanting to see him. Fun. Here's a fun little thing for y'all. Um, for the G1 version, are they gonna make his eye his head crest like in the oh, cartoon, oh, or are they gonna make his eye the eyes like on the toy? That animation error is so weird. Uh, <laughs> it's I so fun. It yep. So uh, yeah, there was an animation error in G1 where they painted his head crest as his eye. And they just ran with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never noticed it before. That's 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 interesting. I kind of hope they do the eye. As a as a hardcore G one cartoon yeah. purist, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, who else has that kind of weird? Oh, so many though. <laughs> yeah. No, but like it, it comes across like Cyclops. It, yeah, it's so weird. Well, it's yeah. Shockwave. He's Shockwave's cousin yeah. now. It has a Shockwave feel. Oh yeah. yeah. I see, if you look, if you look here, I see because that's the crest, and right here the eye. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I see it now. That I never noticed that. That's really cool. Yeah. And then, and every day. All right. All right. Now, number six is another prime. We have Liege Maximo. Um, Loki. I, I could actually see this guy um, being the G2 version because that was his oh. first appearance, and we are getting a lot yes. of nostalgia content right a now. Thousand times, yes. G2? Yes. Like, yeah, so, uh, the G2 comic. That uh, was uh, Liege Maximo's first appearance. He wasn't a prime at the time, but. Uh, more, he was green and he had horns. <laughs> monster -like. This is more yeah. Loki-like. Yeah. Um, I, I would say to anyone that hasn't read those comics, um, both the UK comics and the G2, it had such a gritty... Um, <laughs> Definitely very of, 80s. <laughs> well, yo, yeah, it's very retro. Um, very 80s and 90s. Like Jeff Sr. is just amazing on a lot of that artwork. Um, I highly recommend those. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a, that's kind of where I'm going, and kind of like Quint is, uh, I put him in deluxe class because, especially if they go with like the prime style aligned continuity design, he's not a big guy. He's your weedy star scream Loki type. Mm. Okay. I'd love a bigger one. I always took him as a big monster kind of guy. Yeah, it, it, I think I it really like depends on which which version they go with. Really cool character. All right, Adrian, your number six was Nightbeat. Are we talking head, headmaster? Yeah, I think they're going to do some more headmasters. I think they're coming. Um, the other thing that's in the back of my head is that um, we've had rumors of um, Cliff Jumper and Jazz masterpieces coming. Like that, we've got a Porsche <laughs> license for a year, maybe. And with that coming, I think they're going to try to crank out all the Porsche characters they can during that year. And this is one of them. Yeah, I think, um, um, I, oh, sorry. Uh, I think I agree. Um, I could definitely see that Hasbro, I mean, already has a Porsche license because they released uh, Mirage already from the movie. Mm, yeah. I, I think it. they're always limited. I think it's yeah. like a, a contract for during the film. For a run, certain figure or whatever. Expires. Yeah. I don't think it's like an ongoing thing. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I think Porsche is willing to work with them now. Yeah. And they weren't I'm, I'm in the past. Optimistic. Yeah. So Nightbeat was a repaint of, of Minerva, correct? Minerva, right. Yeah. Uh, so Minerva. I I know I wasn't the only one that was disappointed in the 
uh, Minerva that we got um, in the in the last line. Um, I mean, she, I know she's based off IDW two comics, um, but it, I mean, and I I have her, I bought her, but I wasn't. <laughs> it did not satisfy what I wanted for the headmaster. I, I think she is still coming, and I think if she'll be like a an exclusive, I don't think she'll be on the shelf. Yeah. But, um, I, I can definitely see a, a G1 but style. As soon as they run. do Nightbeat, I think they'll do her in a more chunky version. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. So Number seven. seven. Hey! Oh, God, that's too much. Uh, um, spoilers, he might be on another list too. <laughs> I, um, so I've never watched Rescue Bots, but kind of want to, but. I, I think he's cool. I think, you know, since we, we have a couple rescue bots already, Heat Wave's coming out, you know, in 25. I think bring him in in 2026 uh, would just make sense. I don't know what the seagull is, but you can definitely repaint that little <laughs> bird from, uh, from um, who, Armada. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the laser beak from Armada? <laughs> no, the little bird. Uh, yeah, with, with uh, uh, the beachcomber. Beachcomber. Oh. Yeah, repainting the seagull. Oh, he came with a, I forgot that he came with the uh, little bird. Mm -hmm. Rescue Bots, um, because it was a kid show and because there were no bad guys in the show, they leaned on really good storytelling. And yeah. uh, it, it harkens back to G1 kind of style storytelling more than any other show I can think of. I, I enjoyed watching it, even being a silly little kid show. I enjoyed it a lot more than most of the other shows, Transformer shows. Of it's not, day. Personally, it's not my taste, it's but I've heard it's character. very good. All right. So, Miss Jordan, your number seven was Demolisher. Oh, okay. Now, uh, this is uh, we're we're getting Wheeljack. If we got to finish out the main four Decepticons, come on, give us Demolisher. I I was wanting to put put both this and Cyclone Armada so Armada Cyclonus on my list. But um, I went with a couple others instead. But I think these guys are coming. Yeah, they better they, be. They have to come on. They're don't leave us hanging. Guys out of. I mean, when you think of Armada, Energon, Cybertron. Yeah, I these, mean, those couple stick out out of all those hundred some yeah. odd characters. There's so many. <laughs> no, not, not of Armada. I, I honestly <laughs> think we might see all of the Armada cast get done because there's only like what eight on each team in that show. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's a very small cast. I had all the figures when I was a kid. I love Demolisher, but I love him just because his voice actor was in the original Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Robotnik's little um, little chubby little drill guy with the drill hands. Um, and so when I first watched our mind, I heard his voice. It just, it made me smile so big because it reminded me of a show that I loved when I was very, very small. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we lost Adrian again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Adrian's going to take a phone call. Oh no. Um, bum, bum, bum. So um, his repaint. I know he had a couple repaints. Yeah, he had a uh, he had the upgraded form at the end of Armada, which was a primarily red repaint, uh -huh. and then he had a pre dump truck Energon form that was kind of a purple. It was very similar to his. Color, wasn't he? Huh? He was constructed con color, wasn't he? And More or less, yeah. It was very similar pattern wise to his first Armada color scheme, just with mm -hmm. a. Purple and light green instead of beige and red. Green, green construct com colors is the best. Yeah. Um, are you able to pause this? Mm -mm -mm. I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We are jumping into Adrian's yeah. number seven pick, which is hey. <laughs> I think nice. we're all waiting on this guy. Yeah, yeah, to complete our little mini 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 lineup. Mm -hmm. We need to get it. They call those a mini uh, mini con like team. A, uh, set faction or, uh, or uh, a set, not a capsule. Uh, a special team. We're calling a mini collection. Or yeah, a little anyway, micro collection. Micro, yeah. Micro. Right, keep it rolling. We've already talked about this guy. All right, so my number eight. 
Hey. Cyclonus. <laughs> I think Cyclonus. Uh, I could be retooled into Blades. Uh, I don't like it. I, you know, it's not wonderful, but you know, our rescue bots haven't been anything of their own molds. Um, so just taking Cyclonus and, and retooling them slightly, putting those blades, probably not the most, you know, coolest thing, but I'll take it. Um, okay. Also, think Cyclonus could be repainted into his white form, and of course would complete, you know, or give us more of our our moda crew. Let me say, I'm on board with this as long as Cyclonus comes first. <laughs> And yes. then we get I mean, they usually with Don Warden, they did the repaints first and then what you wanted. But with this group of people, they give you what you want in the repaints after, which I am nice. a big, big fan of. Okay. Yeah, it's the plans change. and Yeah. Also, the mold degrades. So by the time you get the one that you want, the mold's degraded so bad that you get the nice coloring, but it's like a floppy. Mm. Kind of I just want it to be designed as Cyclonus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I care I think about him more. Designed as Cyclonus first, and then get fudged as yeah. blade, blades. I could see it. I could definitely see it. All right. So number eight for Jordan is this blade. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> <laughs> yes, I put him on my list yeah. too. Um, you know, like you said, we got Chase. We're getting uh, Heat Wave. I think they're at least going to do the main four from Rescue Bots, and I think Blades is an obvious choice. All right. Yeah. Not much to say there. Yeah. Not much yeah. to say there. All right. So, Adrian, you're eight. Ah, ah Nancy. Huh? Nancy. Why Nancy? Well, we've gotten already gotten almost the right mold and a really close head. Like sometimes they'll do a slight variation on a head to give you two different kind of style characters, and we've gotten something similar to Nancy, but not exactly like it. So I think. I think she's coming. You have a yeah. mold in mind? Is oh, yeah. The, the, um, the Alita small, one mold? Small junkie on the one that pulls apart. What's his name? Uh, oh, um, blue. It's the blue character. The uh, so the, the one the that's uh, toe line? Style. What are those even called? The I don't know. That's what the most recent one is. Style. The one um, that was removed yeah. as uh, R.A.D. toe line? The like tow truck one? No, I think he's talking well, about similar to that. Uh, There's the blue, the blue car version. That's a girl head. The lockdown one. The one that was used for lockdown. Oh, um, uh, not Axor. Um, I can't remember his name. I can't think of her name. Yeah, but that one. It's a new character, but has a similar kind of big head crest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the footprint is the same as Nancy for her okay. head, and so I think that's coming. Was that a new character? I thought that was um. I thought that was uh, like a previous G1 character or like a repaint that they've done a lockdown before. No, I don't think so. Are you no. thinking about the uh, the rock one? No, no, no. No, this is a junk okay. one. Remember, it, it, everybody was like, oh, that's going to be locked down. That's going to be locked down. But it was really, it was purple and, and violet. And it came with the head. And she was very hard to find. I know a lot of people didn't get her. Um, Give and, me a second. I know, no, um, it's the big junk junky on dinosaur combiner. It was, yeah, I know what you're that, talking about. Legs of that, the blue um, leg. let's see, TF Wiki. She's old news, Nancy's yeah, I know. The new news. <laughs> Nancy's the new news. Um, let me, I want to, I want to have to see what her name was <laughs> real quick. All right, uh, yeah, we keep yeah, rolling while you're, yeah, keep rolling while I look. All right, so we're on number nine. My number nine pick was Kalada from Beast Wars oh, Neo. Uh, awesome. I think he'd be a retool of Quick Strike. I like Kalada. Hey, uh, nice. I started just now watching Beast Wars Neo. I think he's a really cool dude. Um, I could see a little bit of retooling. I mean, if they retool him from Quick Strike, he won't look exactly the same, but I think you can do some, be some, really close. some, some things to make yeah. it work. And I mean, I would definitely like to see Kalata fight with Quick Strike to have you know some snakes go at it. Um, so yeah, I mean, we need some more Beast Wars Neo love. I have to say, um, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of people don't have this mold, um, and it is one of the most innovative, weird things I've ever seen the out original? of all the Transformers. Yeah, that the length of the snake pulls through and makes the two legs 
Yeah. It's, it's just mind boggling how they came up with this design. Um, there was another in Beast Machines that was a snake that had a similar transformation. But definitely go check those out. They're really cool. Yeah, I, I, I like I like Claude. I think he's cool. You have any thoughts, Jordan? Oh, I agree. I love I love the design. Also, I did look it up. That's Axel Grease. And you're right. She is a new character. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. So that's, what was your number so My nine? number nine was Streetwise. I think oh. we're definitely... I think we're definitely going to finish out the G1, uh, at least the main combiners. So like your Devastator, etc. Season 1, mm-hmm. Season 2 combiners. Um, and after this coming up year, the only one that will be left are the Protectobots. Oh, that's a good guess. Mm. Very, very cool. Um, do you think they'll do any of the other combiners like Predator King or uh, King Poseidon? Maybe, but I definitely think they're going to finish the season one and two combiners before we get onto those. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a good point that the ones they're doing now are cartoon centric. Yeah. And we, we never got King Poseidon in our shows. They ended no, up. Predator King? Yeah. Predator King, I think, was uh, Abominus, was the last yeah, yeah, the combiner. I'd love to see a Predator King that. Homaged, I don't know, abominus that homaged the um, call of the primitives cartoon. Yes, that was the most amazing designs for those guys. Mm-hmm. And there's I think one, if they, they slanted some things that way. I would jump to buy it. There's uh, one G1 get... episode that I am willing to watch with Caroline, and it's Call of the Primitives <laughs> because of the animation. I'm, I'm taking that. Uh, what, what, what was the Center Dragon's name? Uh, uh, the Center Dragon of Hunger. Hunger, uh, a commander class hunger, I think, would definitely be really nice. Justice where um, the leader class in Combiner Wars just, it was good, but it just didn't, it didn't do what I wanted to do without the, uh, the, the upgrade the, kit. The Voyager class in Combiner Wars. Yeah, Voyager class. And I wanted to see the head, the heads that looked like Call of the Primitives. Yeah, that would be, oh my God. I'm Same imagining some, some giant, uh, monstrous, yeah. uh, Terracons. That'd be amazing. All right, but we digress. Adrian, <laughs> your number nine pick was Quick, Quick Strike. strike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I I will admit I didn't put Quick Strike on my list. Same, same. It's it's missing, and they, what they've done only one other Fusor. And this is the only. It's a new character that yeah. was uh, one of few of the new characters in the second season. Yeah, I know Evan it's, wanted it to definitely make him sticks a, out as missing. Evan yeah. wanted to make him a core class. I just don't think a core class would do justice for Quick Strike. That's not, I mean, I it just it. it I could it, see I, it fine with core class. Yeah, I could see it based on like they're trying to not nearly as strictly as like masterpiece or anything, but they are trying to stick to like a general eyeball squinty scale. And Quick Strike mm-hmm. was a smaller. That's a good guy. way to put it. Yeah. I think if you need it for the retool potential into the lot, I'd want a deluxe class. Hmm, that's true. But, yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one. Number 10. 10. I chose hey. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. I yeah. forgot about him. I did too. Oh, yeah, retool from uh, Studio Series uh, Braun. Um, I mean, it's obvious. I like what they did with the Power of the Prawns version. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I just think it's one of those things that's an easy kind of retool um, and can just, you know, a couple swap of parts and stick them out. <laughs> Not much I can say about that. I mean, it's just, it's the obvious retool yeah. repaint. Yeah. Um, Get that nice uh, tiny G1 Megatron gun that he has. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I hope that some add on kit company will make a little like Australian hat for him. <laughs> that, cool. Hey, um, what are those called? That'd be cool. Uh, all right, let's take a look at. I think. Yeah, my next one is street or is a groove to go to street wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now I will say I uh, those are my only two protectobots um, on the list for 2026. I think they're going to space them out, kind of like they're doing with the combaticons and aerial bots. Mm-hmm. 
Um, any like retools you see as mode, just repaints to the uh, G2. Uh, I, I don't know, honestly. I would think probably just the G2 repaints, especially with the protective bots, because correct me if I'm wrong, but they were never released, and there's only like three copies of them in the world or something. Uh, the yeah, G2 protective bots. I could definitely see that coming out as a like a special collection set. Mm. Yeah, we were missing that one from Combiner Wars. They yeah, they never the did him, did they? They didn't do him. Yeah, was so I think there'd be a lot of demand for that. Um, I don't. I want to see how they do the Scramble City style combiners coming in the like after. Um, the Stunticons, because with the Stunticons, they have kind of a unique combination scheme where the Deluxes just kind of plug on. They can't really do that with anybody else. So I want to see how they do those before I start speculating on what they might repaint them into. Now, I know that the um, Hotspot, didn't he combine with um, he, uh, the Metroplex? Metroplex. Metroplex? Yeah. He had a base so mode. Do you like? Do you and, think that they would do like a new, like a Metroplex eventually, and have it have cross compatible with those? Um, I could see it. I could see it, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I think if they do it, it's probably going to be a few years down the line. Hmm. They're with the Titans. I think they're going to be hesitant to redo old ones because, you know, they're big, oh. expensive figures. All right, I'm gonna. Pause right pause. Here. We are back and we are on. We have a puppy. Adrian's There's a puppy now. Number 10, and that is. <laughs> sea spray. Why? Okay. Tell me. Sea spray. Why? Oh, we're still missing. Still missing sea spray. Mini bots, and that one's coming up quick. We have puppy dog. <laughs> so, if you hear whining, Adrian had a friend drop puppy dog off. So we have, we have another uh, baby in the room. And I think they want to do the repaint quick for um, the Mayhem Attack Squad. So, yeah, All right. I think he's coming. All right, so, number eleven. Number eleven. My eleven was Octopus. Nice. Yes. Um, I think it makes sense. I don't have the Octopunch from you know this mold is based, but it you know it is in the game. I did message B Mac. Uh, last year, saying that it would be cool whenever he does see spray, do retool him into Octo Punch, and it just I think that is the the, the cheapest way to get this character out, and for it yeah. still makes sense. I could see it. I could. And we haven't see gotten it. any uh, any other recent transforming Octo Punches in in the tiny size, like the the, uh, the, the air cord come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So then we have Jordan, your number 11 no, is... Your number 11, Zach. Oh, that was your number 11. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was another Ratchet. I think we're going to get animated Ratchet. Uh, okay. I think we're going to just... They need to finish off the set for the main yeah. cast of animated bots, and I think they're going to do Ratchet. He's very popular. He's kind of the archetype that Prime Ratchet was based on. So, yeah. All right. I like that. Any repaint potential? I mean, they could always do the auto trooper, uh, the animated auto trooper. I think that'd be that would sell pretty well. You know, he was a convention exclusive originally. And there were um, different colors of this issue. There was a yellow one. If I remember there was right. there was the uh, yellow movie style one. They could potentially do him as Ironhide, but I don't. I would rather them do Sentinel as Ironhide, like the um, canceled mm -hmm. season four yeah, figure. Like I would love this. Because we had that too, yeah. It was yeah, a, the was Cybertronian mode was a uh, Ratchet remold, but when yeah. he got to Earth, he was going to be based on the Sentinel mold. Hmm, I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, Adrian, your number eleven was Wind Charger. Hey, he gets no personal love. favorite. And um, got tailgate rook. Rook off of this in gray. You've got the very obscure car that goes with um, Triptycon mm -hmm. from the comic. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you've got the white tailgate. Tailgate. So that's <laughs> a lot of repaint potential out of this guy. And it's a red car. We need this yeah. time. Red. Kids love red cars. They do. <laughs> Adults like red cars. 
Higher insurance rates. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. All right. So, number 12 for me. I chose that <sighs> off the primal. Wow, that's out of nowhere. That's a good pull. Oh, and that uh, is a primal. Yeah, yeah. A primal. I think wow. I think this would go very well. And I have a, you'll see the reason why I chose this later on in the slide. Uh, yeah. But I, it is the uh, lineage of the prime. I think this definitely uh, falls in place with that. And um, I, I, I would like to see him. I didn't get the Japanese uh, version of him for uh, the Titan Return mm -hmm. line. Um, so I don't have a representation of this in my collection. So I would definitely like to get one without it costing me an arm and a leg. Can they shoehorn yeah. this in as one of the primes? I mean, um, I, guess, well, I don't think they'll do it as one of the, the, the primes, primes, but uh, as one of the 13. I don't think no, they'll do it as a 13. It's a 13, but it's lineage of the primes. Yeah. So if you've been a prime in some kind of continuity. Oh, sure. I, I, I see the voting in the line. I'm just wondering, because we've got some that we don't really know what they look like. Yeah, I yeah. think I think it's justified. You'll see why here in a couple slides, why I chose this character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, excited about but i definitely need this in my in my collection and i didn't think um that mind wipe just molded the justice for this character so um i you'll you'll, you'll see we'll, we'll we'll come back we'll to this one. we'll get there uh number 12 for jordan prime star scream um we need some decepticons from prime we we've gotten uh or we need to finish, I should say, the main Decepticons from Prime. We've gotten Breakdown, we've gotten Knockout, we got the Twins. Um, I think they could do Starscream here as a tall deluxe. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Cybertron um, Hotshot. You know, he's a very slender design. I think he'd fit in well. And he's a big yeah, he's fan bad. favorite. And yeah. I was really reluctant to like him as he had a different character, different style art. Of a body style, um, was different voice, but mm -hmm. I really warmed up to the take on it. It's a really good take on Sarsgrave. Yeah, it's a great show. Anything Steve Bloom touches comes out, I think, as a masterpiece. Um, I've met Steve um, a few times, and I mean, he's a really cool guy. Um, definitely a different characteristic to what he brought to Starscream. Um, I mean, then again, like his favorite character he's done. Um, has to be uh, Gilmore from Digimon just because it's a different voice so he uses for anything. But um, yeah, that's cool. And with Starscream, you always get a Thundercracker and Skywarp repaint. Exactly. So. Nice I could, nice repaint. I could also see them doing him as Slipstream. Oh, yes. Because yeah. yeah. wasn't that a Collector's yeah. Club version? Yeah. So um, I love him call. Slipstream. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Prime yeah. Dylan probably vying in my top one or top two slot for cartoons. It's so I'm so glad good. it's getting some love. It's a great cartoon. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Adrian, your number 12 was? Hey. Good <laughs> <laughs> Zed. Skid Z. All right. Like they put out Wrecker Hook. So yeah. just, we're still missing this guy. And with, um, with the HasLab being what it is, I still think we're going to get some more love. Or yeah. robots in the past 2000. I agree there. You Sky might see more coming, coming out. up. On... Love it. Really? Yeah. yeah Sky Bites coming out. Like, ah, yeah, that yeah, was five, yeah. a rumor, but no, he's, great. he's yeah. coming. He's nice. I'm excited. <laughs> he's in the Hall of Fame. So, for sure. Rest in peace, the voice actor. I oh, yeah. Me, but yeah, rest in peace, Sky Bite. Um, yeah, this is a cool character. Any repaints ideas for this character? Um. Yeah, I could see them doing him and out the of the other. Wrong. There were, um, because we had some. Uh, what was that line? Machine Wars. Uh, the no, one, machine yeah, Machine Wars. Wars. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, there were some Machine so, Wars characters that were based on yeah. this mold. Okay, let me ask you: Do you think they'll do him as a Mirage repaint or as a new mold? I, maybe as a heavy retool. Yeah. Stick a G well, one head on and paint him red. <laughs> yeah. I still want a red Mirage. Yeah, too. yeah, I think we all do. Well, you might. <laughs> Diaclone style. Diox. No. We've got all of the Diaclones already. Well, that's so, hey. okay. That's something you and I have in common. We have pretty much all of the Diaclone repaints that they've done in, in recent past years. I, 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 I Most of the people I know have no interest in it, like that I talk to, um, 
of our little friend group. But yeah, uh, I get my Diaclone fix from Missing down. Link. They also double in some uh, as Shattered Glass. So yeah, yeah that's uh, true. I know a lot of fans out there. Some like them, some don't. But there's mm. some of us are totally gung ho. Anything they put out, we eat them up. You know, if they do like a like a cordon or a red sun streaker from that new. Um, Oh, missing link yes. mold i will absolutely go for that that was the first thing i thought of too yeah. um what i'm hoping and this this is another side trip but um with them doing missing link i'm thinking they're honing in on the characters where the molds are gone yeah i could see and that so i'm hoping we'll see mirage and wheeljack coming up next maybe grimlock but let's yeah let's not and let's not get on top let's not get on top we'll get back to All that right. <laughs> so my number 13 is Dirge from Beast hey. Wars 2. And I picked him because he can be retold and repainted into Machine Wars Megatron for a sub line. I'd buy the heck out of that too. Um, and I, Mega Storm. Don't forget. I was yeah. going to say, uh, well, Megaplex. Yeah. Oh, Megaplex. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, um, that was so, it's such an intriguing, like Megatron making a clone. Yeah. I, I love the notion. I love the color. It's cool. I want to really fill out my Beast Wars 2 cast. Mm -hmm. I love the Japanese resource series, and so I thought this had a lot of repaint potential, and I definitely want to see Megatron from this mold. Um, and of course, like Megatron as a deluxe would be very cool. Um, so I I chose Dirge. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it I think it would be a good idea. Okay, so how are where do y'all stand on the uh, theory that Megaplex and Megatron had their packaging switched kind of late in the game? From I, the I, I agree with that. Okay. Coloring wise, and, and clones usually have a kind of washed out color scheme. I, yeah. I, I agree with you. I think that's what happened. But let's not make Megatron smile like he's on in this picture. Yeah, yeah let's make him smile. Yeah, that's All why right. he's grinning at the murder. All right, Jordan. All right, number, number, number was... thirteen, Cybertron Thundercracker. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that guy. Yeah. Didn't so, he, um, like Jackson. Yeah, he did. He was very cowboy. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to finish out the main, kind of the main crew for Cybertron. And you don't get any more main crew than Megatron, Starscream, Thundercracker. Those were the first three Decepticons in that show. I think he's a serious uh, hole because you can do him as a repaint as the... Um, the Cybertron line, the Deluxe Skywarp was a repaint of Thundercracker, not Starscream. And then... I, I think he had a yellow repaint as well in that line. That's it. Oh, I know did they have camo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I know they're doing Skywarp in the next Walmart line from Cybertron Starscream. Yeah. But they have Thundercrack is a different size class. It's going to bug the crap out of me. Well, I mean, Thundercracker was a different size in that show. He was shorter. Oh, yeah. You're tr it's true. It's true. It's true. It's so yeah. bug me, though. Yeah. Uh, well, those little things you bug me, but um, yeah. I mean, it's a different mold, so true, true, true that. Um, any re uh, retool repaints? Like I said, I think uh, we'll if they do him, I think we'll get a uh, deluxe. So, in the original Cybertron line, there were two Skywarps. There was the Legends class based on Starscream, and there was the Deluxe class based on Thundercracker. So, I think we'll get that version of Skywarp somewhere along the line. And then, uh, like I was telling Adrian, I think there's a yellow repaint of him as well that I can't remember the name of. Well, the style of this transformation, it could be... He could uh, also... Not, not with that big weapon, though, but... I could see them retooling him the out of... A uh, lot of things. I could see them retooling him out of um, Zach York, uh pitch, the Megaplex, uh, Megatron, oh, the, Beast the Force, Dirge. Dirge. Yeah, I yeah, could see them yeah, being re yes, retools of each other. He might not have his big giant gun arm, but I mean, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, add on kids. Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, we're keeping, we're single handedly keeping the add on <laughs> kids kid. alive between the three yeah. of us. Yeah, right. Adrian, your 13 pick was E. X Bron. X Bron. I still think they're going to finish off these three cars. Yeah. This. Uh, this character model it was is so strange to me <laughs> um but talk talk about it. why why i mean how do you think we go about this i actually have have a good idea of how i think this is going to happen um the more recent skids mold mm -hmm. that has the 
chest where you can kind of pull the chest off for mm -hmm. those retools. Mm -hmm. I think one of those will be a parts forming and you'll put that on his arm to make this. I could see that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So I know there'll be some retooling, but I think that will be the, the route they go. I'm assuming he won't be a, a, I'm assuming he won't be a Subaru Outback this time around. Like the original. Probably not. Not with, unless they license it. <laughs> they see yeah. the like, concept studio series. I they uh, like, well, no, they did that for Bumblebee, but that's they what they they painted over his headlights so Subaru. Oh, I know them. that was really strange. <laughs> I think it was Subaru. He might have been. Have to do, though. Um, yeah. There's so much legal loopholes to jump through. Like, yeah, Hasbro has to go through so much trouble behind the scenes. The more more I've talked to them, and the more I've heard at Botcon, yeah, um, they really there's a lot of a lot of contracts they have to sign and. Yeah, they were talking um, about that at uh, TFCon this year and the air archer names and all those kind of things. And they lose the name or they lose the license. Um, it has to be recycled, I believe, three years, is what Party Man yeah. said. Um, yeah. So the, after they license it, they have three years to use it. And then when they um, then have to like kind of do it again, whether it's through like yeah. a Creo or. Well, you're, talking about the, you're talking about the, the licensing names. The, the, the trademark, yeah, the trademark yeah, the, yeah, the names. The not the cars. I'm talking yeah. about even like the. The reuse, like you being able to use the car model. Oh yeah, yeah. If it's a Mustang or it's Absolutely. a so and so. <clears throat> Whole different license. But you know, it's it's interesting that uh the new missing link cliff jumper isn't trait or isn't licensed. So that might mean that like uh that little chibi cliff jumper form doesn't need a license for it. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's little ways to get around things sometimes. Yeah. But it's I, I I have a lot of um, compassion for the troubles they have to go to go yeah. through. It makes me more understanding as a fan because mm -hmm. they do a yeah. lot of hard work. They right. do. All right. All right, uh, Zach. Last yeah. one. All right. So my number 14 is Nick's. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Um, cool. As you see, this is where my Vat Austin's probably came in. There's lots of similarities. I like Nick's. I think she's really, really cool. Um, I think um, a lot of people want a figure of her. Um, and I think, uh, you know, if you, I think if they did like hinges on the wings of the prime, uh, yeah. I think they'd be getting squinched up. Um, I think there's a, a simple repaint with a re, uh, tooled head. Um, yeah. okay. That's what I would say. This, this is a mis misunderstanding or a miss, um, what's the word? Miss conception. Yeah. Misconception among fans. They plan for every figure to have multiple heads right and they the cast yeah. them in the original sculpt and the original sprues have the multiple heads so yeah. if something comes out and it has a different head it's not a retool it's that original plan that they had and the same mold yeah uh, i really like how the, the brand team now went back and you know to john ward and stuff found the astro train found the galaxy shuttle head and said hey let's roll with it because this was never yeah. done so but back on track of this, yeah, Nyx um, would be really, really cool. I don't know a lot about her. I've seen bits and pieces of the Beast Wars IW2 comics, but it just makes sense. We get our prime for the lineage, and we get the repaint. It's it's a simple, um, you know, simple thing to me. It wouldn't be exactly accurate, but I mean, he's nobody's favorite character, so I feel like they might do a um, Beast Machines Night Scream out of the mold too. Oh, that's been. That's a really good point because we never got one that was the actual right size. And I feel yeah. like that's an itch a lot of people want to scratch. Oh, yeah. well, I, I forgot it's a modulator. I mean, it's weird. Well, I learned it was a modulator. I think it was cool. Okay. It was that's where they pull apart and attach. I think. It, like the weaponizer. Yeah. The, the rock guys. Cool, yeah. But, um, yeah. Right. So this, this is why I, ch I chose uh, that I primal is because I wanted, I wanted Nyx. Um, I'm probably one of the few that actually has her on a, on a, on the list out there, but uh, I, I love them giving us new female characters. Yeah, that's I think nice. A lot of people like us that are quick to jump and buy them. Okay. I would buy I any and all female Transformers. Better. Please give me them. <laughs> all right, Jordan. What was I your? I don't remember who I put for the last one, so this will be fun. Oh, oh I forgot about him. Nice. Armada smokescreen, yeah. So we're getting red alert next year, and this is kind of the um, the last Perfect. of the uh, four core Armada Autobots. Um, 
I don't know if y'all are familiar with the lore, but for Armada, but Smokescreen was supposed to be on the Autobot team that came to Earth originally in the show, and there was a warp gate malfunction, and he ended up somewhere else, and they ended up finding him like four episodes later. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I, I really I hope they do him. I think he could be. I he had a few repaints in um, Cybertron. I think they ended up repainting a lot of the Armada molds for that, and I think he ended up with another repaint in Armada. But I'm yeah, not there sure. Yeah, there was a blue blue version. Um, yeah, was in Universe. Wasn't it in yeah, it was later. Yeah. Um, I, I can't let the mention of Smokescreen go past without saying I still want the blue Smokescreen style repaint of Hotshot. That was leaked and rumored. That's was, was absolutely it? gorgeous. Um, uh, the yellow hotshot, yeah, character. There was a version painted that was planned to look like the blue car, uh, smoke screen. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It still had the bandolier style. That was a bot, chest. yeah, was it? Yeah, it was a bot con concept that was canceled. I believe, Maybe. yeah, that'd be cool. I knew that it got pretty far along and then got canceled. So the question here is with his grappling hook, molded or real string? Uh please molded. I don't want to deal with real string. Um I had the original and it was it was a pain. <laughs> Even when I, I was a little one, kid, I it was a pain. That at all, but it'll just have the hook on the top. Mm. Uh yeah. I can see it like a molded in winch, anymore, but it's sad yeah. But I do love that figures are articulated now and oh yeah. And have knees. So I'd rather have that than Weird what is it? My um, the original smoke screen, aside from being extremely short, also had no elbows or knees. Mm. <laughs> oh, <Ooh. laughs> dog fight, dog fight. All right, so Adrian, you're number 14. Hey, I still think they're gonna finish right, out this trio. I don't know what they could do full well. I actually, I do. Um, you had to repaint into a super mode, right? Is blue or red? Yeah, I had the blue one. He had a repaint. Could do that or could do the um, the early Botcon style um, side swipe and Sun Streaker and then the Ricochet. Oh, yeah. um, That'd be cool. They could redo that whole set. Hmm. Love it. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, all about R.I.D. Can we get a Blu-ray or DVD release Hasbro, please? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know that um, that's some licensing. Yeah, I well, think Saban did, still yeah. owns it. Uh, so did, didn't um, Disney buy out Saban? So would it be I, I don't know. Disney Maybe now? well, at one point they did, but I don't know. I don't know if Disney still, uh, has it under their repertoire, and I don't know Could how be lost in legal um, limbo. Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of where it is right now. So I managed to get R.I.D. release the Shout Factory. I got yeah. the DVD out of UK. Um, yeah, there was a there was, was a European really, really hard to find a track down. But it's, um, it was nice to see it going back to um, cell animation. It's really exciting to see. Watch the I, Japanese version; it's really cool. I could. I think the best case scenario for that would be Disney having it because they have such a good working relationship with like Marvel Legends and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, but I think when Disney made the acquisition of Fox originally, um, it went to them, and then when they were they were sub licensed through Bureau Vista, and then I know that uh, who uh, the, uh, then Hasbro bought like a chunk of their stuff, um, and then uh, or Saban bought that stuff back when he like got all his brands back and then it was sold again. So we don't know where it is because the yeah, properties that, have switched I, I hands so many times. I think that's probably part of the problem is that it may be in yeah. fine print in a contract. They may not even know who owns it. Yeah, because even like when Beetleborgs, you know, when Pirate and Beetleborgs were repurposed or we bought by Saban and we had those, you know, DVDs and then when he sold them back for you know more money than it was Hasbro, so I mean, you don't know. We're off track though. Let's yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. All keep right. going. <laughs> All right, so Voyager right. class. Oh, I have an extra one. Oh, you have an extra. Wait a one. minute. I don't know why <laughs> extra one. I have a fifteen. I don't know why I have fifteen in here. Um, maybe I miscounted. I don't know. But I think my, you did. Well, anyway, uh, 15, <laughs> okay. 
Um, I may have actually two or three here, but 15. I said Wind Charger, he won. Um, of course, dead Wind Charger. Yeah, and, I, and I then, agree. If we've already gone down this road and uh, we've got, and then, um, I, I, I want tailgate. Well, tailgate. Tailgate, thank you. Tailgate, easy retool and tailgate. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so make Zach, sure get through you. yours to your first Voyager. Yeah. What? Yeah, I think I've had another one. Sorry, guys. Uh, proud. You're breaking your own rules. I know. I am breaking my own rules. Sorry, I lost track, but we've already discussed him. Voyager class. All right, there we go. Yeah, sorry. Voyager class. My first Voyager is Princess Pride. Hey. I, I, I have a reason. I have a reason why, and you'll see later, but I feel how technically and big uh Quintus is I feel like for me it makes sense for him to be a voyager especially if you have that big old thing on his back I don't know what that is but um I think to have the mass of how big he is and how they did the Quintus on from the movie the one that spins around I feel like a voyager for me just makes sense for him just based on what I'm seeing from the artwork and I just I don't know if he's gonna be a direct translation of the artwork. I, I hope they don't. This this yeah I got that book and it based on how they did the movie Quintus on uh which you know was a John Gordon thing but um I, I that's just what I based it yeah, off it's of it's all we've got yeah. to go on so far yeah. but I, it all of these illustrations don't fit with any of the they were very prime. It looks like it's. It seemed like it was written by someone and illustrated by someone that didn't have a good understanding of the past thirty years of Transformers. Well, it was very aligned continuity. Like it was very of the time. I, I wasn't a fan of the aligned continuity either, but but that's another story. So. Okay, so uh, I'm going to preface one. my first Voyager with this is a minor spoiler for Transformers One. Um, but, uh, so if you don't want any spoilers, you want to go into that movie completely blind, go ahead and skip a few minutes ahead. Um, but let me, let me, and this will require a little bit of explanation. So, all right. So void class. So I've got Zeta prime now. Um, originally Zeta Is and Sentinel prime were the same okay. guy. Uh, they are not as of now. So in Transformers one, the 13th prime, instead of being Optimus prime, like it was originally is Zeta prime. So I think to tie into that and with Hasbro looking to fill out all 13 primes, that Zeta is going to be our new 13th prime. I like that better than Optimus being the 13th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see my thoughts on that later. <laughs> and I think that's, uh, that's also their way of solving the whole um, Sentinel and Zeta being the same guy thing. <laughs> so, so this picture, is it based off the video game? Yeah, the, that picture is Zeta Prime from uh, Fall of Cybertron, okay. um, or from War of sure Cybertron. Version for him in the game or line. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Um, but again, that was Sentinel Zeta Prime, and this is, uh, I think, them separating the two out. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right, Adrian. Let's see what you got. Oh, he has so, another one too. He has another deluxe. Ah. I forgot. He has two more. Okay. So beard the deluxe. Ah, ah, ah. Uh we did we did do this kind of tribute. I, I was saying like this is too many. This isn't 14. Um, yeah. Well it says so 15 at the top. The uh this being a line of primes or giving nods to prime. I think they're gonna take the opportunity to squeeze in Nexus Prime, and I think we're gonna get limbs. Hmm. So we're going to do six, 15, 16. It'll be two, two Nexus Prime limbs. All right. Hmm. So you said top spin, which is a limb for him. And then your uh, 16 was breakaway, which is also a Nexus Prime limb, right? Yeah. Now, and it's been a long time since we've gotten any of these. Do you think they'll do Nexus, which was the original combiner prime, or do you think it'll be Amalgamous, which is the uh, newer name for him? Nexus sounds cooler. Well, Nexus Kids can't say amalgamous. Amalgamous and Nexus, I think, were two separate characters in the Primus, uh, the Primes line. So I guess, yeah. Um, but it, um, yeah, Amalgamous was like the first combiner in the uh, newer lore. Yeah, I think this. I think they would say Nexus Prime, and then 
parenthesis amalgamous prime. Hmm. All right. So let's, <laughs> let's get too hard to, to say. your Voyager, which you said your first Voyager. Hey. Your Clench. Clench and your G1. Okay. So explain. We're just starting to get a few of the Euro line peppered in. And this would be a long shot, but this was such an amazing line. All the molds were brand new original characters and vehicles and the gimmicks were mind blowing. <laughs> and uh, we've gotten some good homages at BotCon, but I think it's time to get one of these. It'd be great. Yeah. Um, God, so I love for that. me, like my thoughts on this is let's release some mold and make it a, uh, a Toxitron 2 and release some of these funky colors in Toxitron, uh, the Toxitron line, like, uh, it's oh, well, toxic. Yeah. Well, a lot of people may not know about this, but um, there was an era where every toy line from G.I. Joe to uh, well, Transformers, um, Ninja Turtles, everything was slime colored. And yeah, it was like everything you saw on the shelf was just poke your Neon. eye on fluorescent colors. Um, everything was toxic. I mean, it was the the flavor of the day and I, I loved seeing that come back and be homaged and I could totally see it again. Now, do you think they'll, um, I could see them doing him and Pyro as retools of each other. Yeah. 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 I agree. Um, I just want to note, this is our first collab live stream. So we're going to have some hiccups and <laughs> stuff. So please be understanding. This is the first time we are doing this. Um, and some Was there a hiccup? Lost the translation and mess up as you just saw. Um, so please oh. uh, be kind in the comments. <laughs> All right. So Voyager number two for me is Horror Club. Hey. Uh, and I picked Horror Club because I would love to for them to release it. He was on the poster for Kingdom. I say take Horror Club. Make him a Coca Cola collab later on down the road. That's oh a great idea. Um, that's that's that fun. That would be really cool, really cute. Um, and they could do, do like a tool pack with the Coca Cola thing and do that ping one uh, Beast Wars uh, Neo guy. Oh, and yeah. The, make a Coca Cola collab. I think that makes That would be a sense. great set. What's the ping one's name? Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't remember. Ice Break. guy. Yeah, br yeah. Break the ping one. Um, and there are a lot of good repaints of. Polar Claw, or at least give us the adult colors. Adult Slim Panda collab. That's oh my what, gosh! That's that's what I oh my god, yeah. that is That'd be fun. good. That'd be Ooh, fun. And then do the brown bear. We got wee bear bears. <laughs> we wear wee bear bears. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, I love Polar Claw. He was one of my first Beast Wars figures I owned. My grandmother bought me, um, and I just thought he was the coolest character. He had the the bat that shot out of his paw, uh, reminded me of Rat Bat. Um, I, you know, he is the nemesis, uh, to, um, uh, uh, uh Scorbinock. Yes. And yeah. These so, twos were, were released simultaneously. Some of the earlier figures they, re they released in Beast Wars. Yeah. Cause Scorbinock has a B, Hulk has a bat. I think it's really cool that, you know, Hulk has that, that turnaround head to make him go all psycho. So we um, need, we need, we need that, like that para. Yeah. Um, yeah. nemesis. And I think the Coca Cola collab makes sense. You could add, you could have like a little bottle of Coke with a tab. And if you if you remember the uh, the Jurassic Park uh, to uh, the second collaboration they did with the little cup, the shaving cream cup or whatever that plugs the hand, do something similar with the Coca Cola. Uh, you could retool a little bit or repaint the bear head. Um, put it out for the holidays and make a great yeah. Christmas product. If you can't yeah. find the right place to put it out on the shelf, that is a great route. Um, it, even if it's not like a retool or repaint, make it, put him out to a collab. At least we get poor across some way, even if he's got a cold coast symbol on his butt, like a Care Bear. <laughs> that's, that's fine with me. Uh, or a, a My Little Pony, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take you can name it. him Cola Claw instead of Polar Claw. Oh, that's hey. cute. That's, that's fun. Cola Claw. Um, <laughs> we need to be on this. We need to be with Hasbro <laughs> Consultants. Hasbro Consultants. Um, All right. Yeah, so that, that's my that's my second. Uh, I cheer that one on. That's great. Yeah. So mine is gonna my second one will also require a little bit of um, explanation, but go ahead. Sorry, we're running running low on time today. So, uh, we'll, 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 uh, 
So, so explain, explain this. So I think uh, one we've been seeing a lot of re refreshes lately. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna get some kind of vector prime in the line. I don't know if it's gonna be a refresh. I don't know if it's gonna be a new mold to kind of go stylistically with the other primes. Mm. But that that's where I was going with this, basically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because he's yeah, already hard. Like, well, I've been surprised. Um the lion character what was his name Alpha Tron? oh uh thunder thundertron yeah thundertron they put two of those out in very similar molds yeah. with a slight head retool we could get the same kind of thing with this of being yeah back to back and being a or it is gold color scheme yeah that's what i, I was thinking that too um the unreleased yeah. to gold and red fun. that could be it yeah very right, cool all right that's a good looking toy too this it looks is. good and old Adrian, another G. Another one of my G Euro G1.5. So I'm I'm thinking you were thinking of um uh the the mold we got with um double dealer taking the double dealer mold right. and repainting this. Maybe fudging that into this. And this has a lot of repaint potential too. Got sound wave and yeah, I was gonna say. And even even the Beast Wars Botcon Megatron. Oh yeah, missile. there's a lot of a lot of things you could do. That would be a great capsule. They haven't really that that uh, um, that mold uh, from um, um, uh, Super God Master Force uh, since we got that mold originally. Yeah. And, uh, when did we get um, Double Dealer? He was, he was in way Siege. back. Siege? Siege. Yeah. 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 So I mean, wow. they haven't used it. It has not been. Reused to this day, so I mean, let's let's revive that mold from the dead. I, I you know, that. it originally it was a different mold, but I think you could pretty easily get a uh, Cybertron defense red alert out of this mold. Oh, that's right too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. So, and it would go with that hot shot that they did a while back. Yeah, I I, I like that. Very cool. No GPS, please. Ha, ha, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, my number three is hey. sound wave. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, please include the microphone, please. Include, and I have a reason for including this into my pick, and you'll see it later on. I love sound wave. He's my favorite character, no matter what he looks like, no matter what he is turning into. Um, we are getting um, sideways, sideways in the Walmart line. Whatever mold that yep. size to be uh, from Cybertron, so he needs a little buddy sound wave to go with him. Little um, buddy sound wave. He's little big buddy. buddy. Big buddy um, he was sound wave was the taller of the two. Thank you very much. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, his big buddy sound wave. Uh, give him the microphone. I, I think that'd be a, a cool little uh, yeah. thing. I the the original Cybertron sound wave. I mean, it was it was all right. It just didn't age well. I mean, the, I guess. The, it uh, very chunky, very chunky let, boy. Let me preface um, with I have extreme nostalgia for that mold in particular for personal reasons. Um, <laughs> so I will defend I, it to the end of the earth. <laughs> I have a I have a reason for picking this, and y'all will see in a little bit. But anything sound wave, I am I am all for. I wonder how they would deal with the cassettes. Well, he only had one cassette in that series, and it was Laserbeak. So the, I guess sure the engineering would be very similar to what we got with uh, the uh, sound wave. I um, could also see them just putting him out with a regular cassette tape chest. I hope not. Do, do the weird little rectangle things. Those were fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll go uh, into more in this one. We, we see oh, yeah, what, I'm also yeah. thinking the discs. Yeah. So we've had the hexagons, the discs, and the. Mm -hmm. Original size cassettes and smaller cassettes. All right. Uh, spoilers, he might be showing up again. <laughs> All right. So, Jordan, uh, number three for you is uh, Animated Hello. Sentinel. Um, I think, again, this is going to be. Um, it's not really a spoiler because he's in all the trailers and we've seen the figure. Uh, Sentinel Prime is in Transformers 1. That's a good tie in. Um, similar color scheme to his animated figure. And I think this is kind of a no brainer. For animated fans, and you have the added repaint down the road of a uh, animated Earth style, the unreleased Ironhide figure, which would have been based oh, on him. Uh, I would really random. I don't think it will have him, but we could take this, repaint him light blue, 
He does share the same voice actor and face as the Tick. tick. Yes. <laughs> it could be a oh, nice, it could be a fun face. collab. Yeah. Can um, we get a Tick collab, please? Thank you. Yeah. Um, there are, I, I was looking at the Sentinel Prime, just the, the original G1 version, the comic version. He oh, had yeah. like four different head styles. He has. So I'm curious as we get a get one, what will his head be homaged? Which style are we going to get? Yeah, I I I want an animated Sentinel personally. <laughs> That's just me. Um. But also, like, I think Animated's getting a lot of love lately, and I think he would be, of the three Elite Guard members that were in Animated, I think he's going to be the easiest to sell. Hmm. So, Especially after the movie. I think that's a smart, yeah. smart move. It seems, yeah. like, it seems like the things that are harder to sell, like to sell kids on, like new characters, it seems like they're peppering them in early. Yeah, like, they put them oh, in a movie. We're going to introduce this character in a core class. We're going to introduce this in a movie or in a cartoon, kid yeah. cartoon, and then we we'll get the figure later in a couple of years. And that seems Blow like a smart up, move. Yeah. yeah. And this is one good example. All right. All right. Very cool. Adrian, your number three was Sky. Oh, yeah, Song. we're going to pick up, pick up where we left off of trying to finish off the limbs for Nexus Prime. Why Voyager skin? Why well, I think they're going to have yeah. just like um, just like Devastator and just like the recent Minasaur. I think they're going to be extra parts needed to cram these all together, and mm. I think it will. Some more parts count than yeah, size. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And okay. again, these are long shot stabs in the dark. But... Yeah. Do you think they'd be uh, repaints of the aerial bots? Yeah, that's where okay. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing some aerial bots and then some Combaticons. Mm crammed together into a new yeah. gestalt. Mm. Yeah, if they cool. did them. Let's... So much for finding answers. Um, is what he says. Okay. <laughs> uh, back to me. My number four is... Hey! Oh, um, oh, so maybe, in, maybe me and you think more alike than I thought. <laughs> so, you know, in, in my, you know, through every... Uh, year you have to have a prime you have to have megatron and this was the only megatron that made sense to me with all my choices that i had um you could do this you could do dark megatron you could do uh uh the you unitron could and make, uh sharkticon megatron um, i love that uh, <laughs> uh um, you, you could do, do the unicron remold from um the movie the prime cap off movie Mm -hmm. Where he is like possessed and got all the new spikes and everything. Yeah. Um, um, so this just made made sense to me because I mean, going through all the Megatrons that we could pick, this one just seemed to fit in with the rest of my choices. Nice. Um, and this is this is my Megatron pick for um, a lineage lineage, lineage of the of Prime. So I have to say, and I'm loving you guys picks i'm wanting to buy your picks more than a lot of mine <laughs> and i think they're also probably more accurate to what we may get so hey, we'll have to have hey. a betting pool to see see who gets the most right lineage yeah. of I the mean, prime of like the cartoon lineage of the prime yeah, yeah. of the prime uh, cartoon yeah. uh all right so Number four okay. for you, Jordan, is... so this one is a controversial one i think they'll do cyclonus as a voyager why I I'm not sure. It just gives me the vibe of something Hasbro would do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think he'll be... It It really is... They're going to try to make him the same height to the head as Demolisher. Mm -hmm. And look at Cyclonus. You've got a giant backpack. That's right. true. That's a lot more plastic. It's a lot more plastic, a lot more parts count. I think to do him the scale that they're going to want to do him, he's going to need to be a Voyager. Mm. Well, it's also just the footprint of the uh, Ellers. It's going to be a bigger yeah, box. Be. Exactly. Um, the other elephant in the room is that we haven't been getting the Minicons to yeah. go with all of the Armada toys. So I, I'm i sure they've tooled them and had a plan for them at some point. But yeah. I, I'm Maybe thinking they were... eventually we may see those filter in. It's like a box pack set. or something. Either it's a box set or packed in with a smaller 
for the figure and he's got two pack ins. Yeah. Or, and I mean, we know four characters and a bunch of mini cons. So I think we're still going to see those. Do you want to repay Mike Cronus, both all the mini cons? Well, we know the um, mini con for Wheeljack exists, but he's not packed in with the new Wheeljack. Right. But they said they could, they were probably going to try to put him somewhere else, which makes me think that they have something planned. Yeah, they probably have something planned. But right. very, very cool. I, I, that, that, that yeah, makes sense. I love it. Those, those are two I desperately want. All yeah. right, let's see. Adrian, your warrior number four is? Is, of course, the other Gestalt limb. Lane Quake, okay. So why wait? The same, same reason? Same parts reason, count? parts count, extra extra weapons to stick them together. Yeah. Any uh, repaint, retool potential to anybody? Well, I, I still think these are all going to be identical limbs to... Um, like Combaticons, yeah. Yeah, so I think they're going to go pull like right a, from those, just yeah. give them a new head. Maybe throw out a couple new guns. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. For me, my number five, Lee's Maximo. I uh, love this as a, as this size as um, a Voyager more. I don't know if this could be retooled or repainted into, but Lee's Maximo, um, I feel like Voyager class, give us like a fabric cape like they've been kind of doing with Marvel Legends. Um, you know, Ed possibly uh i mean it could be like on hinges or, or, or something but um i i think that this would just make sense for me in my head um i feel like he's tall and sneaky and very loki like and i feel like for him to kind of stand out would make voyager class if me. he's a match for megatron and a big baddie in all these Comics, he needs well, to be an, big enough to be imposing. Give me a Loki repaint, then. Well, he's <laughs> not a uh, he's not a big match for anybody and anything but the G two comics. If they did him G two style, I could definitely see him being a Voyager or even leader. Um, well, I can see him being bigger and then having some retool as maybe a pretender monster. Yeah, make a Marvel crossover. Give it, give us Loki and. Uh, like, that's a big camera. And then put that, yeah. put that hammer, the 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 uh, the hammer we've been getting with all those other robots. Make that's it meal right. Make it meal hey. Hasbro <laughs> legal team, please get in touch with Marvel. Zach said so. Hey, they have they have the rights. <laughs> make, make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah. Get, right. get the lawyers together in one room. All right. So all right, my here. number returning friend here. We have Cybertron Soundwave. Uh, I think yeah. it makes perfect sense with the uh, upcoming Sideways. I think they're gonna do him. All right. So, yeah, we already talked about this, so mm -hmm. we're going to yeah. go on the next one. All right. Let's see. Yours is... Hey! Skywarp. I, I approve of this. I love me some Skywarp. My favorite of this mold and the one I never, mm -hmm. ever got in either size class. I think that'd be a, a good pick. Yeah, we can't can't have two and not three. I'm kind of annoyed that the, um, the Thundercracker version is a Takara uh, convention exclusive. That is a bummer, and it looks amazing. The it accessories, does. they're all really nicely painted. I'm sure he'll show up on Hasbro Pulse. Yeah, so. I, let's hope they yeah. get a Hasbro I mean, Pulse exclusive. He's up for pre-order on the usual suspects in the U.S., so I imagine he'll go up on Pulse at some point. Mm -hmm. I, I do mean, want... he's in the computers, so yeah. I mean, it, it, he'll okay, pop good. up. I want that necklace from the uh, Japanese convention. I need more Transformer jewelry. Oh. You should have told me. I I had a guy. I yeah. know. I have a friend who went there. I could have could have gotten some stuff going. It was the Tokyo convention. I thought your friend went to one of the other ones anyway. So. Uh, all right, number six for me is Sound Last Blaster Force slash yeah. Logos. Crap. That's right. Um, I forgot it was a yeah. real purpose. So I Prime. chose this because Logos Prime is one of those primes that comes and is mentioned and never seen again. I have a whole bunch of lore on why and how. It's all fan canon. Um, fan. But yeah, fan canon. Fanon. Uh, yeah, trademark. Um, but uh, Logos Prime, he is one of those primes that I feel like was in the line and banished. So there's no mention of him in the continuity of the new uh, newest continuity because he was so diabolical. He just had to be written out of chronicled by uh by uh Alpha Trion. He had to be erased from the Book of Primus. Okay, wait, reel it back. Where 
what fiction does he appear in? Uh, it was a fiction before the Alarm continuity. Whatever the but was it in a comic? Was it in? Yeah, he's he's seen. Was it in some of the prose uh, or the Japanese uh, comic? The, uh, it was one of like the um, the uh, uh, the Botcon? No, the um, the online store collectors club. I think is uh, okay. So the, like the pros, yeah, that uh, yeah. Is like in the back. He's okay, one, he's one of the thirteen primes before the Align continuity. He is gotcha. one of the thirteen. Um, I guess. Of course, he will be marketed as Sound Blaster, but to me, well, in a lot of primes, primes, in a lot of primes, when they could sell it, sell it as another prime. Yeah. I, I, I do. I have this version of Sound Blaster. I have this Japanese version of him, and he it's is my pretty. he is my Logos Prime, and he does have a time scythe, uh, <laughs> which is in my continuity. His prime weapon is the the Red Energon time uh time scythe. So, um, we'll yeah, see. that's pretty. I <laughs> I I Logos Prime Sound Blaster is my choice. Uh, Love me, love me some uh, sound wave, sound blaster, and mm. so prime is probably one of my uh, my favorite forgotten primes. All right, um, mine is gonna go real fast because we have another returning face. Prime oh, Megatron. I think you're probably yeah. right. I think he's a good pull. Um, to go with prime. Same with Starscream. Um, I think they're gonna finish out probably the main cast from Prime. So there's not very many left. All right, all right. Very cool. I do like this. We have talked about him, so we will continue. I confer. So, Adrian, your number six is Polar Claw. Uh, we already talked about Polar Claw, too. Yeah, Polar Wait, Claw is why are, We are on our number sevens and his number six. What happened? I don't know. Like I said, it's our first, it's our first <laughs> one. Give me an extra okay. one. Bring it up. Yeah, give him the next one. All right. Hey! Indeed. So, Adrian's number seven was Sentinel Prime. But G1 Sentinel G1, Prime. G1, yeah. Uh, Chichi Train Man, Fire Truck. I am all about... I think this is going to fit in better with the rest of the crew. Chichi Fire Truck, all about that life. Uh, the thing I could see, I could see them leaving off those two teeth-looking spikes. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are... Or maybe have them where they could peg in and pull out. Yeah. That might be a better way to go. You can kind of... Say, I want it to look ridiculous. Have them do like daggers like or something. G1 and, oh my god. And if you don't want them to look ridiculous, pull them out. I just, I can't figure out how they would have him transform. <laughs> I'm looking at this image here and nothing lines up. Well, I'm sure. Okay, think of uh, Cup. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Or cup transformation. I it's just, I'm looking. Give him a train. The, the only thing that's really giving me a head scratch is the little uh, canopy on his vehicle mode. I guess that could be a backpack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I'd be on board for that's it. True. I probably wouldn't. I, like it, it hints that that's the same thing as on his front of his chest, but it would be way too big. So I, I think yeah. you're right. It would be like yeah. front and back. Combine cup and bulkhead, like they're yeah. two lanes together, and then they go. Then you get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But either way, there's there's one of the other of the four heads, which this one's yeah. kind of a little forgettable, but it is very G1. Oh, take yes. the cartoon accurate sandstorm head. And there you go. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Which we still need Hasbro. Please Ooh, give us wait. a sandstorm head. We could do a sandstorm retool into Sentinel Prime. No, you know what? I could see that. Paint that thing blue, and <laughs> that's not bad. No. And then, then you'd have an extra mode, but you'd at least have a weird G1-ish Sentinel Prime. Weird G1 kind of adjacent space vehicle. Right. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Very cool. All right. We may have just figured this out. We may have cracked the code. Hopefully. Like On the leader class. All right. Oh, no. I, I didn't discount, but this is my, my next one. Um, is retooling Quince's Prime into Botanica. Uh, I feel like it makes sense. That's why I chose Quince's Prime and Botanica. They have the very similar kind of body type of see with the tentacles. Um, I would want Botanica to be a retool of Quince's. I think that's how we would get her. I don't think that she would end up getting her own mold, which oh, I, no. makes me sad. 
but I feel if any, it shouldn't be retooled in any kind of sort of fashion. Yeah, it's probably I think they might design it as Botanica and then because the, the other character is a new character. Okay. So I think Botanica is going to be the primary. And then Quintus will, the, will be the, we're going to fudge a new character out of there. Oh, yeah. All right, Zach, get us to your first leader class. <laughs> All right. So um, I've got three extras, says Zach. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, why did why are mine on number seven? How do we how do we do this? I don't know. I where's it? It's our first time. We'll we'll get okay. it. Okay, we'll figure it out. All right. So leader class. My first leader class is Amalgamus Prime. Okay, uh, he, he's a big chunky boy. He and is. I don't know what he turns into, but as a big chunky man, I feel leader class would be fine. I don't know much about Amalgamus Prime. Isn't that supposed uh, to be the first combiner? No. Yeah, Amalgamus his lore. The, the one that uh, invented the transformation club. I thought Amalgamus was the first combiner. No, Amalgamus was the one that invented the transformation club. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So he's the, the, he gave the the uh, transformers the power to transform. They oh yeah, he was the he was the first shifter. Yes. So he. Yeah. Um, so I he was like kind of like, like um, come with some transformation cogs would be really really cool. He was the, like um, the cogs. Um, and I feel like you can read if they if they if it. Well, we'll talk about because it it's it's transform one stuff, but we'll talk about why I say that in a little while. Um. um. Uh, he you, uh, I read my mind until I'm gonna say, but yeah, um, well, I, I was gonna say some parts from from some other stuff. Give uh, him some transformation cogs. Um, One in each hand, and uh, I mean, can all seven hands. Monkey. He um, he was the precursor for um, makeshift. The ones they tried to make the like sh the like ones that could assume the form of another robot that they tried um, to make happen back in the aligned continuity. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I, I don't even know. We're just I, gonna forget about the whole aligned continuity. <laughs> hey, I love that continuity. I feel like whatever Amalgamus is, you could retool him into one of the uh, bigger DJD members. Maybe it's, it's that's the, the grinding guy, the microwave guy. I think. That's the okay. The the guy with the grindy gut with the round hole in his stomach. That's like the only one of the DJD that I can remember or keep in my head. As what kind of an Tarn? outsider to the IDW. I'm um, sure you can remember Tarn. That, yeah, okay. Tarn Tarn sticks out. And then we've gotten a toy of Tarn. But yeah. of all the others, that dude's memorable. And I could see them making him. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, that's that's my thoughts on that one. Um, so my so first leader class is Silverbolt. We need a. That's, we need. That's, that has to be on the way. So, yeah, we gotta have a central mass for um, the the aerial bots. <laughs> the silver bolt is. Um, there was, I think, a listing a while back that he was commander. I mm, I don't think they're gonna do that because then if if they keep with the every torso is a commander, it's gonna take years for them to finish teams. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to have to find a new way to do it. And Silverbolt doesn't have a trailer, so why would he be a commander? Interesting. <laughs> and again, the aerial That's a good point. He's don't, a big ass plane. I mean, they don't, a big butt plane. Yeah, sorry. I am not they, in the classroom. I'd love to see, I, I would love to see him have <laughs> the base mode. Yeah. I'm just saying that and um, I mean, like I said, the uh, aerial bots don't combine like the Stunticons, each aerial bot is a limb rather than each aerial bot plugs onto a limb. Yeah, okay. I, I can see that. I can see that. All right. Uh, that, okay. Touche, touche. Yeah, yeah. All right. Adrian, let's see if I mess yours up too. We'll see. All right, leave class, Adrian. All right, leave class for you. Hey. From Wars, from, uh, wow, you've already got it mocked up. I already got it mocked <laughs> up. One. Yeah. That's so one. cool. Yeah. But this is. Fantastic. The original yeah. toy was fantastic. The repaint was fantastic. And I think this will be a knockout when they do this it. This is from Grimlock and this, I believe. If anybody is, is uh he does these really cool repaints. Expert yeah. job. Go check out. Oh, that record. is actually repainted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh that, wow. Uh, Gr I think Grimlock and this is the one that did this. Props. Gorgeous, um, gorgeous job. Yeah. 
he is his work is, is amazing. If, if, uh, I think that's who it is. But yeah, um, he oh, does bring them to like the big conventions, and I think sometimes he repaints and auctions them off and does stuff for charity. So um, uh, the original figure is just huge. It's a very chunky. Has such a shelf presence. There was a uh, local comic shop when I was a little kid that had one of the original Machine Wars uh, Star Screams hanging from the ceiling. I had no idea what it was for years. <laughs> um, you'll see this guy out. again in a different video that we do. Um, <laughs> not this video, but a different video. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay. Looks cool. great. I love that mold, too. Yeah, I do, too. It's cool. All right, my number two leader is... Octane from G1. Um, I think you mean Octone? Octane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like they dropped the ball on Astro Train, but I feel we'll get better Astro Train in, uh, in Studio Series. But I love Octane. I feel like, um, you know, this would be really cool to, to get him. Um, maybe get it like a little mini bitty, itty bitty ghost star scream or something. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that'd that be was, fun. Those were some great ep like episodes of Ghost Star Scream and yeah, maybe the Octane Shining Moment. And I need, I need in someone in the third party community to make a little computer with a little sexy robot lady in her lingerie on screen, please. Thank you. Um, I'm I giving you lingerie lady. I assume you're computer. referring to a specific G1 episode. I am because okay. he, he stinks and says shit and he tries to watch his little naughty video. Oh, this sexy robot lady. She's got the bra and she's got the panties. I'm giving you like, some hard oh, squints right now, man. <laughs> robo bra and robo. Yeah, You're gay. We got, a lot, we got a, a way with a lot of stuff in the 80s. You can get Sir, you are you like men. <laughs> I do like men. But I like I like men who like women, too. So there you go. Uh, robot men who like robot women. How about that? <laughs> oh, my God. Um... All right. Let's see. So yeah, that's. I agree I'm... with you. With that's that's the hole that's missing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, uh, kind of in the same vein as Silverbolt here, onslaught, uh, because onslaught. our Combaticons will need a center torso as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. And um, again, I don't think they're going to do commander class because then we would be waiting two years to long. get the last piece of Bruticus when I feel like we're going to get all the limbs next year or 2026. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And of course, um, what's his name in, in Japanese continuity? Uh, the repaint that's way obscure. Uh, Battle, Battle, Gaia. Battle Gaia. Yeah. 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 And, and of course, the really nice. so cool. Here. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, cool. We're not going to see that though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, we, we got crazier stuff. All right. So your number two is Octane, Octane. as well. Okay. So let's keep it rolling. High five. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Talk about him. All right. So, in the same picture, you think I like. Oh, wait, I did just laugh. <laughs> uh, uh, so, copy paste of Trump. My leader on three is V Sports 2 oh, Galvatron. Nice. I love me some Galvatron. Um, you know, we did get Loud Convoy. We need his arch nemesis. Oh, that's true. He is a triple changer. So, uh, like definitely uh, merits the leader class. Um, I mean, it, I, I feel like this team of of engineers and you know with Mark Evan and B Mac, we could get a really crazy cool representation of this Galvatron. This was a wild toy. The colors mm -hmm. on this thing were just like nothing we'd ever seen. Um, this was also, I think, the first instance of any uh, mail order. This was a, a Japanese exclusive, and you could get it in America get it, yeah. along with a Lyo convoy as a mail order. And that was how I got mine. He's got an actual clear marble in his chest. Oh it's my a very gosh. cool look. Nice. And that's really I awesome. Just do it right the first time, so Japan can't one up them on a re release. Yeah. I can see this needing a lot of paint. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's it's a, a triple changer, color. isn't he? He's got the yeah, drill mold. A mode too. dragon and a drill. So, yeah. That may need, need some, I wonder Needs some fun engineering. It would have to be, I mean, kind of like the um, like, um, uh, uh, the, the dinosaur combiner or that kind of thing. It may yeah. just need a big box and be something special. Yeah, I, 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 could... I think it's cool. I feel like, you know, I have my Megatron 
this is my Galvatron for yeah, uh, need for this. the line. So um, yeah. bring him on. Bring oh, he's a cool. Bring on a Galvatron. All right, my next pick is boring, but. <laughs> <laughs> Leader G two Snarl because okay. I mean come on we're we're getting G two Grimlock Snarl is probably the most famous G two Dinobot aside from Grimlock he appeared on a lot of the covers back in the day um, so yeah I yeah, think do Grimlock and G two we should get Slag and Snarl yeah okay okay um, a I lot think of kids had these this this yeah. got the Dinobots to a whole new generation yeah. I think we could get one a year uh, for the G2 Dinobots. Yeah. Just a simple repaint just to get them out there. Okay. Pretty cool. Feeling Christmassy here. So we're bringing it in. Yeah. yeah. Well, we there were... Uh, a Christmas pack. Yeah. Actually, that's a really good point. Christmas you could, style. You could do... Whichever... I think they should do whichever is the most common color. Yeah. Because that's what most kids are going to be. I think it was the red hard. one was the most common. Yeah, so you got the red snarl and the green slag. Put them together in a Christmas two pack. Ha. Slug. I'm you dead mean? serious. <laughs> yeah, Christmas dino bomb. Have it have a, like a little diorama in the background that's in snow. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> uh, and guys, if you, I just noticed, if you see my little tabs right here, this is my school computer. So all my little <laughs> websites are tabbed here. Until I'm a teacher. I'm You're here. off getting off base, man. Yeah. Let's I, get it back. ADHD this is almost, guys, this is almost two hours long. Yeah, right, come on. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, hey heat wave. So again, try to finish off a prime combiner. Any be what a repaint of um onslaught. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, honestly, all things considered, this this may end up being they might box these up and sell them through the club. That's probably yeah. what what more what's going to happen. All right, all righty. Cool. I do. I like the head. I like his. Cool. I was going to say I like his. Got, I like his. Uh, layout, princess layout. 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 I was just thinking. Yeah. All right. So my next leader, very kind of words, but Transformers go off oh, this prime. Man. Another they're, triple changer. They're never going to do. Oh this. No, 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 no! There is no, no way they're going to do this. <laughs> this is my Optimus Prime. These are the primes. Transformers go prime. We need it's my crazy pick. It's my crazy pick, but I okay. love trains. The, yes. Okay. Yes. Like trains? Like the I like trains kid? It's a pretty new toy. They could just release this toy over here because we haven't gotten it. It's uh, not a good toy. <laughs> but look, look, this team, this team can make this amazing. Okay. Amazing. I mean, okay. okay. Another thought you could leave out the dragon mode and make a train Optimus Prime. Okay. Um, see, that dragon. would be better. Or uh, my and only problem is the uh, train, the train bots from RID. My problem with this pick is that he's a third of a combiner. Are they going to do the other, what, six guys that he can combine with? Are you talking about the, the three the Go. brothers there, from RID? There were two three packs from Go. There was the uh, vehicle three pack and the animal three pack, and he could combine oh, with right. both of them. And there was a black repaint of the oh, was, police car. Was it one yeah. of those things where in one series he was a dragon, the other series he was a train? Was it that mm, kind of thing? I think it was in one. No, when he showed up in the show, he could be all three, but okay. um, he could combine with either. Uh, he was the upper torso of the th of a three person combiner. I didn't know uh, that. I thought he was yeah. just a regular leader class figure. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I would still love to get all those Japanese series that we haven't gotten. Uh, I'm yeah. talking about Beast Wars 2, Beast Wars Neo, Go. I say shuffle, shuffle that stuff out and give me this as my leader. RID 2000. Yeah, uh, yeah. Digital. This is, this is my uh, the bulb. Pick yeah. is leader Optimus Prime from Transformers Go because we only need Go representation. That's so, true. Uh, sure, that's my that's my pick. All right, all right. I forgot yeah, who my number four was. Number four is Lugnut. Oh, oh, animated Lugnut. Lugnut. Um, we haven't gotten any animated Decepticons so far. I think Wasp is going to be our first one. So if they're going to make a new mold animated Decepticon, it's got to be Lugnut. So why not Commander? Uh, I don't think he needs to be that big. Okay. Yeah. Mean, yeah. I, I mean, Lugnut was the same height as a uh, Megatron. He was definitely bulkier. But mm -hmm. what are they going to do? A Commander class Megatron, Blitzwing, and Starscream? Because they were all more or less the same height. 
Gotcha. Just gotcha. with more bulk for lug nut. Okay. Very cool. Any repaint potential? Atomic uh, lug nut. Yeah, I was going to say atomic lug nut. Uh, they could retool them a little bit and release them as the um, the reveal the shield version. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. That one. Japanese yeah. version. Yeah. Very cool. So. All right. Uh, yeah. Good All luck right. finding an atomic lug nut. <laughs> All right. Yours. Another year. Hey. One. Skyquake. Yeah. They've got this mold and they need to put it out in every glorious color Please. that they can. This. King, what is the this blue? is beautiful in person. What's These the colors one? look so good. What's the blue one of him? They've kind of fudged these two into... King or something? No. That's there, I don't yeah. think there is a blue one of him. There's I a think King Atlas. King Atlas. That's, King Atlas. Atlas. that's, white, that's the white, white version. One. Yeah, white. Yeah. Yeah. You're thinking of a Dreadwing, but yeah. he's a different mold. G2 Dreadwing, he went with G2 Smokescreen, the two jets. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I see that. Getting so. a lot of love from this mold from, from all of yeah, us. Yeah, like, he's they've a got, good got this figure. Mold ready to go, so they need to put it out. All right. This I, is what it's intended to be. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, my next the commander class. My commander, my commander choice is Ooh. Big Convoy. Oh, nice. Um, That's a good one. We have Big Convoy teased on. Uh, the box for Magmatron. I it's think true. he is a big, chunky fella uh, as a mammoth. I think Commander is the only way you could do it and do it right. Um, I, and I, I love him. I, I love well, him. This convoy. was the first time we got a Matrix as a toy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. And that chest where you could see the Matrix through the clear plastic was really nice. It was a great toy. Yeah, and he, um, you can repaint him as a the black repaint or uh, ultra Ma mammoth. Ultra mammoth was cool. Um, maybe minus the maybe minus the bloody tusks, <laughs> but uh, oh no, that was on the that was on the black version. Um, but uh, yeah, a big convoy. I think we need him. I I need my beast war commanders. I think they look Bravo. Good. really next to uh, log convoy and awesome primal. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, there is good also the the rumor of the upcoming masterpiece. Big convoy, which is from the, a pretty reliable leaker. So, huh. look, if they release big convoy, I'll go back and get Lyo and Primal. So nice. All right. Uh, so I'll, I'll dive into masterpieces. Yeah. I went with right. something a little bit different, but one that I think ties in pretty well with this year's release uh, Commander class Megatron Gigatron from. Okay. That's a good pick. It's probably really the only place we could get that. Yeah, so I don't think they're going to do him. Haslab. I don't think they're going to do him as Haslab because he's not very big compared mm -hmm. to uh, Optimus. He is um, he's a bit... seven. He does yeah, have six that's modes. Be tough. But that's why I think he'll be a commander because his six modes. Yes, he has six, but they're more they dubious kind of than like went and cock your head sideways and then you yeah, see. they're oh, kind of more I mean. dubious than even six shot. Yeah. So, I get. I think they could do a meta commander class. I don't think they're going to need to do him as a Haslab. And I think if they can avoid it, they probably will. I'm sad that we can't get it as a Haslab and get that vac metal. That but, would be nice. But maybe they can get some nice paint, some gold paint, silver yeah. paint, and bring this guy to life. In the ultimate crossover, uh, you know, he transforms to a hand, Megatron transforms to the gun, and Gigatron fires uh. him. That's, <laughs> oh, that's a great. I need to happen. Okay, we need to see that on the next trigger movie. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. and your commander is Thunderwing. Thunderwing. Oh. Okay. We missed Thunderwing. Um. Oh. <laughs> all right, so so we had uh, had the uh, Black Shadow was a retool of Thunderwing. So we've gotten Black Shadow, but we never got the big Thunderwing. So Do we get Black that, Shadow? That's a hole in my collection, and we need just a man, new Black Shadow. Such a... We did. Who was that? Uh, Wait, Overlord retool. So I think they're going to do something special for them since they didn't do that obvious retool repaint. Yeah, the big third party one of Thunderwing is really nice. I haven't handled yeah. it personally, but I've seen lots of videos of him. He, he's pretty awesome. That that was some. Uh, that was IDW, wasn't why, it? Yeah. Why was he? Yeah, so it was big? IDW. Was he, a he was a. Uh, he was. 
he was giant in IDW oh, was as it? part of the Pretender attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was IDW. Okay, yeah, that, that was, was IDW. Was a great comic. That was a great part of the uh, Stormbringer comics. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Are we on to Titan? All right. Yeah, Titan class. My Titan class is Nexus Prime, and so I picked different one. Nexus Prime than I've been working with. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like you could do a lot of the combiner limbs. Um, with a commander torso, uh, because I definitely think that Silverbolt and Onslaught are going to be commanders just to for the parts count. Um, but you know, paint them a simultaneous color, put you know, a Santacon aerial bot, uh, you know, a protective bot, you know, whatever, and make this this uh combiner. Um, I, I think that it, that made sense to me in my head. Uh, we need one prime as a titan. I think this would make the most sense for for me, anyway. It just dawned on me, and this is if this is counter to what I was guessing, but they could conceivably do a Nexus Prime the same size as Monstructor or, or Dino King. Oh yeah, that's true. I want some that, that, that small. That could I know, but they could do that scale for yeah. a new character. That might be the only way they can squeeze it in. And I mean, Nexus and it wasn't could be something that could like, fight. Dino he King. he was the first combiner, but he wasn't like devastator sized. He was like a um, a regular sized bot that could split into three smaller bots. That would kind of break my heart if they didn't do it out of the aerial bots and combaticons. But it's an option. It could still, could still be cool. Hey, I honestly had the train bots from RID and then in, the, in that. <laughs> I um, yeah, actually. Yeah, um, I won't be surprised if they go that route then. Yeah. Uh, I had him as my uh, commander pick for a while and ended up changing it. Yeah. So this I can see him point. being like three or four deluxes. Uh, um, if it's not this, then let's do like the, the beast warships. Um, but Ooh, yeah. all right. Um, all right. So Jordan, let's see your Titan class. Broadside. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I okay. mean, they did just tease us with Broadside. Somebody asked, I think it was Evan, and he said, uh, yeah, keep your eyes open. So mm. give us give us a big Titan class what, Broadside. Which Broadside? He had three different character models. The, okay, the, toy one. Think, the oh final goodness. character I model. An <laughs> I have an answer for that. Um, just like they did... Um, they've, they've, done, they've done this um, a few times. When they've had a character where they wanted a couple of different looks for it, um, just like the little um, the little little ships that are in the back of Tidal Wave uh-huh. have let you have that different look uh-huh. of two different yeah. sizes. Uh-huh. Um, Omega Supreme from was it Armada? Yeah, uh, no, Inner John. I had. Um, Omega Scream's head as an homage for the Headmaster. Mm. Oh my god, it did. So there oh, are Sabatron. You can do that. So maybe do, it was from Energon. <laughs> either a version where there's a little boat that comes with him that has the alternate head that pops in his back or makes his cool. command module on top to give him both looks and both styles. Or a headmaster that pops off. I also I think he'd be a really good counterpoint to uh Tidal Wave. Because yeah, that's exactly like you, you get the you get the two big boats. Um, they're well, going to look good, really good nice boat, next to each other. Yeah, exactly. We also had the entire pirate line all at the same time. Everything there hints at them having a big boat. But in Japanese yeah. continuity, um, I mean, Broadside and Springer and Sandstorm were all the same size. Right. That's not, why. That's why I was wondering if they did it as a headmaster, in, it could change into another boat and then give you a sized size of the same as the triple changers mm. oh yeah okay. not in season one through three because in that and in headmasters um broadside was titan class he was huge yeah i mean head- well, okay. they have, they have okay. hold him. so there you go that would be the airplane yeah the airplane changes into the head combines i could see that that'd be really and cool then the boat is the one that's not sized yeah because mm. so yeah get, and you get kind of the best of both modes and then the whole thing transforms, and you get three ships out of tidal wave, the big boat out out of you know, the battleship yeah, out of yeah. its body, plane to go on top, and you get this big fleet for the pirates. 
Yeah, that's, that's cool. display great together. That's cool. Yeah, I like think about that. That that uh, that because the plane could go on the runway. That that yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, Adrian, what's your pick? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Love me right. some broadside. Yeah, I I did not choose broadside, but all right. <laughs> uh, all right. So I think I think on this next one, a lot of us are going to be on the same page. But I'm not on the but, same page. <laughs> okay. Well, Haslab, not. Not my pick for Haslab. That's not what I want for Haslab. But I think this team or this line, Lands of the Primes, who made the Primes? Primus. Um, I I think it makes sense. Oh, a little oh, I took your time really cute. Um, I th <laughs> uh, I think it makes sense uh for the Lands of the Primes who made the Prime Primus. Um so many cons, you know. It's a good point. They're ramping up to it. Um, all this ties in well together. Not who I'd want for a Haslab. I have a Haslab in my head that I want. That's for another video. Um, as well as the tears. But well, I also have to say the 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 Primus that we've gotten so far was really nicely done and yeah, but made a sphere, old. unlike Unicron, the original Unicron. But, but it was tiny. It was absolutely yeah, tiny. So the thought of getting a giant one, especially one that they could have the budget to make it shiny and clear parts and have a chunk missing out of it. Maybe the chunk uh, is um, the junk planet. I mean, you pull the bottom Chunky chunk off of, off of Primus and you get like a little planet junk. Now, because there's uh, a missing chunk out of the bottom of the unit fence. You guys have my, seen it, right? Yeah. My only knock for this is Unicron was almost not funded. Mm. So uh, I think they're going to be really hesitant to do another big expensive planet in HasLab, especially Primus, because he's the less famous of the two. Mm -hmm. But it's also Cybertron, which is... Okay, that's... Uh, uh, Cybertron's been there since episode one. Um, uh, and if you had extras being the moons, you could have uh, display, like if you get the um, <laughs> uh, the extra <laughs> tiers, unlock the tiers, and you get like Sorry, moon Blanky. base one, moon base two. Um, All right. It'd be great for some little, some more little ships. I, I still uh, think that's a strong contender if they can keep the budget right. Uh, so, and okay. anybody who has. Um, Unicron before will want to get it to match. So I think it'll yeah. be easier to sell it than the first go around. I mean, I hate that Unicron. So uh, I'm going to skip to Adrian because I know Adrian yeah. had the same thing that I did. He also wanted yep. Primus. So um, I think we're on the same, the same uh, wavelength there. And it's um, not just something right. that I'm guessing. It's something yeah, I let's really say maybe love. Just um, so let me let me preface with uh, this is based on some comments that were made recently, where um, and it's actually it's uh, two characters that um, the Hasbro team was asked about doing recently, and they said we're not working on them at the moment, but we're looking at them for the future. No, keep, <laughs> all right, let's let's see. <laughs> let's, let's let's pull it up. Oh. G one skids in my lap like all you right, come on. Of them. I have this. Absolutely not. Yeah, all right, come on. Oh my gosh. That'd be awful. No, no, you're on the right one. You just have to click it. Oh yeah. Anyway. <laughs> all right, has Bum 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 boop. What? Oh, cool. Oh, interesting. Now but I think this is going to be based on the fact that they said they're not working on them right now. Um, they're going to be a really expensive pair to do, and they're going to go really well with that Commander Class Optimus Prime. And I think Hasbro is seeing that the early 2000s stuff sells really, really well. And that's um, they saw that with the most recent, uh, the Omega Prime Kickstarter was their most successful by far. Huh. Okay. I think so it's going to be... Would merge with... The uh, Commander Class Commander Optimus. Armada. Yeah, I'm, now, trying, I'm trying to dig this out of the would back of my you, brain. Would you, 
introduce a compatibility where those two can just combine together to make a new transformer. No, that'd be really hard to do. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really hard to do, especially yeah. with the um, unnecessarily. With, I think they're going to do a Haslab companion piece for the Commander class Optimus. I think these two really, really uh, are really strong contenders just because I think they're going to sell well. I don't think they're going to be too expensive because I think, like I said, Unicron made them a little gun shy on Wait the big, expensive These could Haslabs. tow each other, so there is a combining element. Yeah, there is, yeah. And there's a reason they should belong together in, in a Haslab. So yeah. I could see that. Yeah, uh, I I not saying I don't think they'll ever do Primus. I think he might be the kind of the uh, end capper has lab for the line. Like mm. they've done all the primes. Now let's do right. Primus. You're gonna ramp up to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are little uh, sayings that this is just gonna be a, a two chapter line, but um, I mean, I, I want to wait and see. I mean, uh, I think it was Mark that kind of said that it all it, it ends it all ends in in 2016. I don't know. Oh, well, that can be to, that before. can mean a lot of things. Yeah, um, but yeah, that, that's a cool idea. Um, I I definitely want these two. I love Jetfire. Um, I'd like to see him, um, hopefully mainline. But I would love to see him mainline. I just think they're gonna have. Um, I don't know where I they're gonna put him in the mainline. They'd be commander class. Well, it just classes, yeah, they'd have to be two commander classes in order to do him justice. And I don't think their Hasbro is willing to, with only one commander class a year, it's kind of the same yeah. problem as the combiner Given forces. The spot's going to be weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think this just might end up being where they have to put them. So. That's a smart, these are smart. I, smart choices, my friends. Yeah. So, I mean, that is our choices for Lineage of the Prime. Here are two predictions. Um, if you like the predictions, let us know. We'll do some more. Um, yeah. I think before we kind of end off, we want to kind of discuss some things that we picked up recently. Um, and just like a thing or two, not everything. But um, I will say that I today did get Straxis. Um, right here, he's pretty cool. Oh, I do want a black version. Him. He's a lot bigger than I thought he I was. I like he his little head, good. but I want a black version because he's staying in the box like this. Um, I would say too, pick up those comics. Those are really fun uh, all, all the wreckers and the different characters like Strax is showing up and Scrounge and that's some really great stories mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh -huh. throw uh, a shout out to Simon Furman who's mm -hmm. been very gracious coming to the different conventions mm -hmm. meeting fans answering questions signing autographs have been great yeah. well, why about you Jordan you get anything cool recently Mm, I mean, let's see. Hold on. Let me just point the camera over there. So I don't know if you can see him or not, but I did get uh, the Lego <laughs> Bumblebee. He's up there on the top. Are those masterpieces? Uh, all of them in the display case are, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, the first, I should say the first two shelves in the display case. The bottom stuff is not uh, is movie stuff. But yeah, I've got Lego Bumblebee. He's up there on top. And then I've got um, Leonardo from the uh, new NECA series. Yeah. But Mostly, I got the uh, party wallop. Nice, yeah. Mostly, I've been doing uh, one just or five. One. <laughs> one, one, four, or five. I got one. Okay, I I've got been one. mostly uh, catching up on generations that I missed and getting a couple of upgrade sets lately. So not a ton of fig new, like new whole figures, but. But yeah, um, so this is our first video. Uh, we hopefully will have more coming to you soon. We're still in the playing stages. I have an idea for another video I do want to do um, with uh, these wonderful ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so just uh, stay. Doggies and ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Maybe a cat for, sooner or later. <laughs> uh, another uh, video maybe in about two weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Are signing off. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Um, 35. Our... Uh, Social media will be down below. Uh, you can find me um, at Anime Foresight on YouTube and Taku and Teach on Instagram. And uh, come find uh, us online at the local conventions too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're uh, Arkansas, so we uh, uh, oh, you and, two are, uh, and Seattle, Washington. Um, Not Seattle. Don't give my location out online. <laughs> well, uh, we're Little Rock, so I mean, if you're in the area, hit us up. We always like. 
uh, more robot people to, to hang out with. Um, but yeah, we will guys, we will, we will all <laughs> see you soon. I am tongue tied tired. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. Where's my button? <laughs> and recording.